Final Fantasy. Oh, it's so nice to be able to play this in the mornings. I, I love this. I love this game so much. It always puts me in such a great mood. Obviously, it depends on what's happening in the story, but <laughs> great mood, nonetheless. Okay, I am... The last thing I left on... We're on, we're on 97 MSQ. Like, I literally just hit the level 97 MSQ, which starts with a dungeon. And the dungeon is... This! The Vanguard is what it's called. That's cool. But basically we did the really cool high action scene of the train. I thought the train was going to be a part of the dungeon, but it wasn't. But that looked fun. That was a fun thing. Uh, TLDR, uh, the sister, or her, what, Wakulumat's brother is evil got an army and now we have to stop him and this is us doing so <laughs> yes um <clears throat> that's where we left off that's a pretty short tldr though time for me it lurks i haven't caught up okay all good good morning how do we how many people do we have we have todd and ria do we have anybody else that would be willing to come it's literally just us online <laughs> literally just us online do y'all have any friends that would come and you could just ask them really nicely to let me figure it out um like that's like please <laughs> like just follow me kind of thing oh it's a tomi online i can queue with you if you want to three man for no spoilers can we do this with three people I just can't play. That's fine. How would you queue up? I thought you weren't at home. How do you how do you do that? So Tommy's not online, darn it. <clears throat> oh, you remote connect from your phone? Oh, wait, that's fancy. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, hi, Elf. Yeah, I just Oh my god, that's so funny. I literally just hit live. Yes. Hi, Elle. Thanks for the 73 months. I'm, I've been trying to try out TikTok Live. This is my second day. <laughs> it's my second day trying it out. So far, so good. Everybody's, like, super nice. Has been super nice. Um, it looks good. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. Can we, Evan, we're actually, Todd, do you, are you asking, are there people online? It's Monday morning, so it's really hard to get people right now. I literally just need one more person so I can do this dungeon. I mean, we can queue up for, um, a, with the stranger, but, um, I, uh, I would rather not do that, uh, for a couple reasons. One is because if they already know how to do the dungeon, then that's unfortunate. Um, because they'll just know how to do the mechanic and I can't really figure it out myself. Um, but there's always, there's always a chance we can get a stranger who hasn't done it before, and then that's perfect. Yeah, and also, ew. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brother, ew. It's more than likely the random would die too. Are you saying I'm not a good healer, punk? And it's also true, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do, Barking! Hi! All oh, thanks. Sweet. All oh, thanks! I FF, hello. <laughs> they just wouldn't know how to do... <laughs> well, yeah, that's the whole point, right? It's because I want to learn how to do it. You're going to die. And that's, yeah, that's the other thing. We... The strangers are going to need to be okay with dying. <laughs> because it's going to happen a lot. Um, but let's see. Here, how about... The problem is I don't remember who these people are on my friends list. But they're on my friends list for a reason, right? Should I ask them? Like, help, please. Oh, look, there's more people. Let's ask Kim Possible. Kim 
possible. Could maybe ask the stranger watching your stream? Well, I'm assuming that they would say have said something if they would, wouldn't mind joining me. Oh, they're in a restricted area, so I can't. Also, I wonder... No, you have to be online, actually. Uh, you get, Otherwise, you get kicked off, so I know that they're there. You're gonna <laughs> die, so you need to be okay with that. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't cost a lot. Like, when you die, nothing bad happens except... Um, if your, except your, your gear drops, like, it needs to be repaired, but it doesn't cost too much to repairing. Uh, would you do me a favor? Okay, I think I might have somebody, but we'll see. Oh, thank you, Drew! <clears throat> Um, I'm asking, I'm asking, oh yay, um, One second. I'm telling him, base essentially TLDR. I'm asking, like, is it okay if you just follow me in the dungeon? There we go. Warrior Paladin. I have no idea. Actually, I have no idea. I didn't think about that. Hopefully, they're not a healer. <laughs> we'll see. What brand of headphones? Oh, these are Logitech. The Logitech. Um, uh, you know, they always have like those numbers. I think it's G7 something. I want to say G730. Am I? Oh my god, no way would I be right. Hi, Kyle. Let me look it up for you. Kyle, thanks for the 66 months. Okay, let's see. Logitech G730. Oh, I'm wrong, aren't I? <laughs> what are in my headphones? G735. I was close. Close. Oh, they're they're Dark Knight, Todd. Can you can you not be a tank? Sure. Do you want big pools or small? Uh good question. <laughs> I don't know. Todd, what do you think? Should I do ask him for big pools or not big pools? Probably small pools. Big pools? Big pools. Okay, big pools. How do I invite them to a party? Cannot locate character. How do I... How do I... They're on Hyperion. How... He's Dark Knight 2. Put up a party finder. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, let me... Create a party finder. Oh, I forgot how to do that. How do you do that again? Kyla's gonna learn to heal. It's okay. Hey, I already know how to heal. Stop. I'm not that bad. I'm bad, but I'm not that bad, okay? Healing's hard. Give me leader. You gave me leader. Okay. Oh, I was about to kick you. Promote. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> uh, let me tell him actually you're gonna do that. Actually, I taught you so. Wait, how do you spell your name? Okay, it's up. Oh, you can hear my stream! Okay, that's so much easier. I didn't know if- I didn't want to be that person to be like, Can you actually join my stream? Okay, can you join my dodge, you so- Party finder, please. Thank you. Sorry. Um, 
small pools. I get stressed with big pools. I know usually I get stressed with big pools too, but I like a challenge. And what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? We're just gonna die, right? And luckily, Todd and Rhea, the other two people in the party, they they already know that they've already been through this. Um, Hackus, you haven't though, so. Are we doing some story dungeon? We are doing the, what is this called? Vanguard, we're doing Vanguard. I'm doing it for the first time though. Oh, I'm excited. So, uh, put the Dorito on me. Obviously, Hackus, since you're the tank, just do the tank stuff. I'm kind of mainly talking, I guess, about Todd and Rhea. Todd and Rhea has to follow me. <laughs> Todd and Rhea has to follow me, so we'll, uh, so, I'll try to figure out the mechanics as fast as I possibly can, but obviously it's, I will see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Vanguard has the best glam, I heard, and I'm gonna try to roll for our everything. Y'all, but I feel like my, well actually maybe my glam won't, won't fit the next area, I'm not sure. I went with a, a cowboy theme, cause I, I got to Shaloni. <laughs> Hi sis, hello. I can't find a uh, Todd on Party Finder. Um, turn music up, okay. You can't find him, oh it's I Todd you so? Let's see. I Todd you so. <laughs> Um, unless Todd, Todd, question mark. The music's really quiet right now. I'm gonna leave it alone. Y'all have to let me know if it's too loud or too quiet, okay? Okay, chat? What is that, RT? My glam is cute. <laughs> Thanks. I'm from Texas, and so when I went to Shaloni, I was like, oh my god, it's Texas. <laughs> but it's like Texas and Arizona put together, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I try to give I try to give the the NPCs the ones that don't talk in certain cutscenes I try to give them all southern accents. <laughs> oh, we got it! We got it! Okay, we're doing it! Okay, Vanguard, here we come! I'm coming! Oh wait, did I do the ready check? Okay, okay. I'm ready to die. That's the spirit, Rhea. I play, by the way, I play a scholar for those that don't know. Also, I'm lucky, thank you, I just saw that. I play a scholar, hence the fairy. So I'm a healer, so here we go. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jai. Yeah, Texas, you're from Texas too? You used to be a Lala, come back. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, this sounds cool. Is this too loud? Oh. <gasps> it's the Squid Game people. Here we go. Wow, we look cool. Sound is good? Okay. I didn't want it to be too loud, but... Ooh! Alright, let's do this! Vanguard is under attack! Vanguard is under attack! All units prepare for battle. Ooh, all right. Biolysis. Oh, are we, we're going inside. Oh, here, here's more sentries. All right, I'm gonna play it safe. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Ooh. Not so bad. This is only beginning though. Good morning! I hope y'all are having a good Monday. I apologize if y'all die, alright? I'm gonna say that now. It's a little loud. Sorry if you die in the dungeon. Ooh. Enemy sighted. R7 sentries prepare to engage. R7 sentries. <gasps> they have motorcycles! What is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfect fit. Cinderella fit. Oh wow, look at these! Oh, so this is the 
mount that I've seen so many people like use. This is the this is the the thing. Oh, oops! I need to be healing. This is the mount I see everybody have. I wonder how you get it. Is Scholar your main? Yeah, it is my main. End of day. Well, welcome home. Seven point five million gil. Oh. <laughs> Okay. That's expensive. <clears throat> look, he's a cute he's staying alive. Look at look at that. Oh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> It got kind of close there. All oh, things, Anthony. Free Fantasia is nice, though. Oh, first boss already. Vanguard Commander R8. All right. All right. Hack is you just do your thing, and uh, Todd and Rhea follow me. <laughs> Intruders detected. Initializing experimentation protocol. Electro wave. Okay, this is probably an AOE. Always. Okay. Sometimes it's not always at the beginning. Wing blade engage. But where the wing blade? I don't know. Stand. Yeah, sure. Stand here. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Ow! Okay, don't. St <laughs> what? All right, don't stand there. Where are you supposed to stand? Oh, maybe you're supposed to stand like over here. I don't know mechanics here. Oh, perfect. All right, obviously dodge those guys. Electro wave. Okay. Oh wait, oops. Yep, there we go, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, all right. Uh, oh, 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 oh my god! Ah! <laughs> the circles kept getting bigger. Wait, that's fun. Okay. Okay, stand here. Stand here. Stand here. I think. And then, and then, and then go forward. And then go forward. Okay. Well, actually, that didn't do as much damage as the, as the first time, right? <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> Dispatch. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stand here. Stand in between. Oh. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay, never mind. Don't stand there. Don't stand there. Oh, thanks, Todd. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, oh, oh, I'm not gonna move. Oh, okay, I'm gonna move. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't even get my fairy out. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thanks, Byron. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get back. Give me a second. I don't understand this. Where the heck are you supposed to? Oh. Oh, why is it so big? Let's stand behind him. And then, and then this way. Oh! Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I understand now. <laughs> A little too late. It does kind of give Tron vibes, doesn't it? Okay, so this is the... Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Yeah. That one's not bad. I just couldn't... I couldn't move fast enough. Okay. Nice. We did it! Only one death and it was my own. Not bad. Alert, alert. Intruders detected. Engaging defense turrets. Um. Oh, okay, let's just... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that was fun, though. How long will it take me to get to this expansion if I've never played before? Uh... A while, unfortunately. Um, I mean, technically. Actually, I don't want to say the technically. 
Yeah, it would take a long time because you there's several expansions. Uh, you have the base game, which is a Realm Reborn. You have Heaven Sword, Stormblood, Shadowbringers, and Endwalker, which is a lot. So I would say like a good. I don't even know how long it would take. Several months. <laughs> But it's worth it! It's worth it! And like, it's fine. You can just take your time playing. And it's like free up until level 70. Um. So. But yeah, it would probably take a really long time. Is my chat broken? Uh, I saw your message. God. Dang it! Nothing's dropping for me. It's all like paladin gear. <laughs> we stand red mage. Yes, my friend is so incredibly smart to bring that. Or, or bring bring a red mage for this fight knowing that <laughs> I'll die and I'm gonna need more revives. Love it. Love that for us. Was it, is Twitch acting weird dry or something? I love the music in this dungeon. I need to obviously hear it like alone when um, I don't hear my, you know, my skills going off. I like it. Oh, Jai, it's because I have TikTok live, so I'm all, I also have TikTok uh, chat. Unfortunately, you can't see it. Sorry. <gasps> Second. Boss, dang it! None of <laughs> none of the stuff is dropping for me. The protector. All right, let's do this. Okay, let me shield everybody. Turrets deployed, commencing remote volley. Uh. Oh. Alright, just. Dodge. <laughs> what is this? What in the. What's going on? Holy. How the. It's hard to fight <laughs> and dodge at the same time. What the heck? That was like the first dungeon. Circuit. All right, it's going this way, so let's go around. Oh, oops. Oh, it paralyzes you. Oh! Oh! No! I mean, <laughs> I hit the thing. All right, don't hit the the little purple things. <laughs> oops. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oops. So that's what happens. Just testing it for y'all. Just test testing. Motion sensitive bomb has been affixed to you. Oh, motion sensitive? Okay, I'm not gonna move, I guess. Oh. Oh, oh I'm not gonna move now. Ow, though. Okay. I probably could have moved faster than that, but oh well. I don't understand. Oh my god. Okay, I- <laughs> Don't hit the purple- <laughs> Oh my god! Uh. This is fine. Oh, it's quiet now. Oh, electro wave. Shield. Oh, 
<sighs> it's stressful. I, I could have done the moving one better. Okay, so how do I know when this is gonna actually happen? And how do you know where the heck to stand? Ow. Okay, don't move, don't move! Okay. I think I did that right. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, goodness. Oh no, not again. Not again! Run for it! Run for your lives! Oh, just kidding. It's dead. <laughs> Good job, guys! <laughs> Wait, that was fun! I need to do that again, though. Oh my goodness. Nothing. Wait, that was fun! Now you know why I call this expansion AoE Trail? What do you mean, AoE Trail? Oh, because all that... <laughs> because of all of the AoEs everywhere. Walk along, oh, walk along an edge. That would have been really smart. Okay. Vanguard Karab Hassan. Okay. Also, thanks, Dapper. <laughs> Run for your lives. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That was a fun boss. I wish I did the moving part better, but unfortunately you get paralyzed. I couldn't Asuna. I don't even know. Can you Asuna par paralysis? Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Your HP got pretty low there. You're good. Thanks. We're good. It is a suitable. Okay, I just didn't have fast enough reactions then. Yeah! Good going. Ooh, it's red in here. Send in reinforcements. The commander will not tolerate failure. This reminds me of like an area in like... Uh... Horizon Zero Dawn. Without saying too much. <laughs> Thanks, Blue! <clears throat> Man, there's like no drops. I want to see. I want to see the glamour. Darn it. I mean, I guess I could take a peek at what the other outfit looks like, right? Ooh, a crossover with them. It's the same as Caster, except different color. Oh, that's a ring. <laughs> that's a ring. <gasps> oh my god! I love it! Wait, it's the outfit that you have? Oh my god! Oh yeah, that is really, wait, that does look really cool, but mine's just a different color. <gasps> I love it. We're gonna have to do this dungeon again. I wanna get geared up. This looks really cool. All right, let's go. I wonder what, I wanna know what the headpiece looks like. I don't know if you had the headpiece on. You get guaranteed drop at least on each completion. Okay, cool. Hey look, the weapon for a warrior. Caster, it's a mask? Ooh. Okay. Wait, it's this sentry behind. So wait, we, we just finished the second boss, so we're on to the, the last one. Ooh, this place is cool though. It's so uh, interesting being here. Cyber Kitsune, Kitsune mask? Ooh. 
I wonder, I hope that's what I get. Unless it's like a guaranteed chest piece or something. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! What is that? Look at all the screens! Oh my god, is this a boss? Who's that? That's such a serious breach should be allowed, but it ends now. Who is this guy? What in the... Xander the Snake Skinner. What the? <laughs> Whoa. We redeem our honor with your lives. Whoa, who is this guy? New character? The snake skinner? The heck? It's a person! I thought it was gonna be like a giant robot or something. You truly believe you're yourself a match for us? The audacity. Electrothermia. Okay. Soulbane Saber. Whoa, oh shoot, get away from that. <laughs> Wait, that probably explodes the whole room. Wait, his HP is going down so fast. Oh no, don't tell me he revives himself. Okay, he's doing it again. Oh, he's doing it on that. Okay, so stay in the little pizza area. All right, spread out. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, dude, he's doing, like, the whole area. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait! Wait! He's dead! How? How could you? Ugh! <laughs> Wait, what? He's dead! We won! Enveloped in a gentle light. Wait, what did that say? The pulse of life surges through Xander the snake skinner. Alright, no more games. Yeah, he did revive! I call on the soul of the serpent, the great devourer. Give me the strength to destroy our enemy. What? You paper souls, you've made me waste this day. Whoa! Look at him! Oh, I'll tear you limb from limb. Oh boy. All right, snake boy. <laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What is that symbol? Oh! Whoa! That's cool. But how do I know which direction? I'm gonna stand right on the edge. Oh, there we go. All right, careful, Ria. What the heck? How do you know what direction it's gonna appear? I guess you can stand on the line like I did so you can quickly move? Ooh. No one can survive the serpent's art. Oh, oh! What? Hey! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, hold on guys. Hold on, Rhea. Sorry. What the? How did I know he was gonna turn? Yeah, debated for real. Thanks, Todd. Oh my god! How the heck? Screech? Oh, that's that. That feels like an AOE. Yeah, it was okay. Sorry, Rhea! See, how do I know? Maybe, maybe it depends. Oh, I see, so the outside. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, am I, I need to read his attack name. You're right. Sorry, there's a lot going on. It's hard for me to. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. Cause he does the back, yeah, there you go. And then you move. Okay. 
Oh, oh, he still does it. Oh, does he do it every single time? What? I'm pissed. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I thought I had it down. <laughs> it wasn't true. I thought I had that, but we did it. Good job, guys. I play on Excalibur. Wait, that was so fun, uh, guys. Wait, don't leave yet. I want to take a. I want to take a screenshot. We did it. Wait, that was fun. But I definitely want to do that again. <laughs> Maybe not right away. We'll see. But I want to get. I want to get the outfit. And I want to do the second boss and this boss better, because that was not that good. Eat. A viper. Oh, a viper. Wait, I didn't get a single piece of gear. Just kidding. I got a necklace. I got a necklace. <laughs> Selfie time. All right, get, uh, let's see, what's a good spot? Graha is looking at me. Ooh, Garaha. Okay, uh, let's take it over here. Let's take it with this thing in the background. So come, come behind me. Pose whatever you want to do. Oh, is that the caster's mask? Oh my god, it looks cool. All right, let me get my screenshot ready. All right, let me know when. Do it again, Rhea. Do it again. There you go. Oh, I could just do G-Pose. Right, hold on. Oops. How do I make them not fuzzy? Oh, depth of field. There we go. All right. Okay, I got I got a screenshot. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm up in my game. Did I get it? Is it a good one? Yep. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, guys. <laughs> I like to take a screenshot every single dungeon I do with the first people that I do it with. Yay, thank you. All right, time for the story. Are we ready for this? <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> what greeted us was not the home that I had left behind. There was no mistaking we had reached the Yasulani. And yet... It was wholly unlike my memories. The lands of my childhood had changed beyond imagining. Whoa. How did it change this fast? What's that? Oh, is that, is that two to areas? Where had I returned? Whoa, everything's in disarray. We tread on, the darkened skies above a mirror to my heart, clouded with fear and uncertainty. Did they just like warp all that stuff there, I'm assuming? How bizarre. This How cannot bizarre. be Yasulani, can it? Heritage found? Cool. <laughs> it's sad, but oh, that looks cool though. Well, I discovered a new location, guys. Look. <laughs> wow, look, new location. It's stormy and <laughs> rainy. <laughs> All things Kula. <laughs> the grape? <laughs> what? Whoa, this is cool though. Wow. It looks 
so different here. Whoa. I hope we go there. Wherever that is. Alright, walk. Walk the map. I was prepared for something strange, but this, it's like another world. It is like another world. I, I don't understand. All aboard. I can do the MP. I can do the dungeon if I want to. My game is backwards. Uh, backwards. What do you mean? What do you mean backwards? Is it like flipped in a strange way or something? Oh, it's mirrored. Oh, how do I fix that? Uh. uh Oh, you're right, it is. How do you flip it? <laughs> how do you flip it? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh, wait, no, I can do it. Hold on, sorry, chat, hold on. Hold on, I know how to do this. There! Is that better? <laughs> yeah, on the Twitch it looks fine, but I guess TikTok's weird. New location, new glam. Oh, that would be really good, but I don't have... Do I have a glam that would fit this area? I would like to go and get the outfit from that dungeon, but that's probably going to take too long. Oh, I can't do glamour plates here, apparently. <laughs> now it's good. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't realize it was like that. Appreciate you. <clears throat> um... Okay, well, I can't change my glam anyways, but the land of leaven. Ooh, creamy hot chocolate. That actually sounds great right now. Once you get to an Aetherite, you can access glamours. Okay, I'll do, I'll figure it out then. For now, we're going to still be in my yeehaw outfit. <clears throat> yeehaw. It doesn't make sense. That tower, was it always there? No. No, definitely not. Nor the wall over there. The materials got something we use in Tural. It's closer to what we saw at the gate to the Golden City or those mechanical soldiers. Such a massive structure couldn't possibly have built in so, shor so short of time. Then I'm inclined to assume we've been transported to another location or perhaps we... Or, well, speculation will avail us not. We need to learn more before we can draw conclusions. Let's look a take a look around then. Yeah! Also, I love the sound of the quest exception for this expansion. Did it, Grumpy? I've been really liking it. I'm enjoying it, but... Um, yeah, maybe some people don't like it. I'm not sure. I think everybody I've spoken to has really enjoyed it. Um, what in the, what is that? <laughs> Where are their arms? <laughs> what? An axe beak. Alright, we're looking around, guys. Ooh, I have a whole new area to get aether currents now. Oh, they're down there. Trying to avoid the axe beat beak. Is that the rail? Oh, is that the? Oh, it is the railway. Okay. This place looks cool. Thank you, make me. Ooh, took a boy. You have one tweak that I would do, but other than that, I was happy with the story. You finishing your second character right now? I would rather have an expansion than not. Also, keep in mind that this is like the beginning of another, like... Would we call it a saga? I don't know. It's like the beginning, so... It's not gonna be as amazing as, like, how Endwalker was, right? Because that was, like, the end, right? New arc. Uh, yeah, that's better. New arc. Thank you, Gregs! Hello! Good morning, everybody! I hope y'all are having a good Monday. Oh, thanks, JC. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, MJ. 
All right, uh, let's see. I want to go up there, but I'll, I'll have to wait. That looks like a train station, doesn't it? Where? Oh, up there? Oh, up here. That must be Yasulani Station where the passengers disembarked. Then perhaps we'll find someone to talk to there. Let's go and investigate. Tumei, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? The cat's being so strange. Yeah, you can play this on PC. You can also play it on the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. And Xbox. Oh, I keep forgetting you can play on Xbox now. That's a thing. Yeah, you can play on Xbox. You can play this. It's such a unique MMO because you can play this MMO with a controller. I've never done it before, but I know a lot of people do. Like, when I used to do raids, which is kind of like the hardcore content, for those that may not be familiar with Final Fantasy XIV, um, it's kind of like WoW raids, in a, kind of, in a sense. But I remember two of my raid members would play on console, or, or not console, play with a controller. They said it was easier for their class. Yeah, some of the best raiders I know are on controller. Mm. Okay, I got the... I got the aetherite. Whoa, everything's like... Dead. There's nobody here. Okay, hold on. What? Okay, I don't have that many options right now, but tell me what option you think would be best for this area. <laughs> so we got option one. Mm -hmm. Option two, uh, three, four, five, no. I have a lot of different outfits, but it doesn't necessarily mean any of these are going to work with this. Maybe this? It's purple. It's Halloween, though. <laughs> um, oh, maybe this one? Maybe this. Eleven? I need to fix this outfit. I was doing like a Princess Zelda theme. Okay. What do we think? I say cowgirl. What? XPS, good afternoon. You do Savage on controller? Yeah, see a lot of my friends do everything on the controller. Five? <laughs> I call it my cactar outfit because <laughs> I have a little cactar earring and then I have like the stripes. I don't know. I was trying. Should we do this one? Streetwear? <laughs> I mean, I can easily change it. That's the best part. Ta-da. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Shoot. Hold on. Before I do that, let me put this ne new necklace on and save my outfit. <gasps> Alright. This will be my outfit just for a little bit um, until I can go back in the dungeon and maybe do that dungeon again. Maybe I can get some more pieces. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this is Yasulani Station, but from the state of it, I swear it was abandoned years ago. Oh. That's odd. I'm not sure what to make of this. We should look around a bit more. <gasps> what if... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now, don't answer what I'm about to say, okay? This is a re -torque. I'm going to talk out loud of what I'm thinking. What? Because you know how they were saying that the new area might be a reflection? Maybe they do have a Yasulani in their reflection, but it's abandoned, and then that's what they... Don't answer that. That might be 100% false. <laughs> but, huh. Maybe not. I don't know, because I don't understand how, how else would it look so abandoned, right? Rusty train turntable. And then they just like warp that area out or something. I don't know. The thick layer of rust suggests it hasn't been used in years. Or maybe they can like, I don't know, like 
quickly speed up time in this dome, maybe? I don't know. The tracks are heavily rusted. It would seem they haven't been tended to for a long while. Odd. Odd behave. Odd stuff happening. Scuba, hi. Good morning. Thank you. You're fine. <laughs> I went to go buy some milk from the store. Is it expired by now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm super behind. Can you recap what Dawnbreaker plotline is? Like, did they ditch the dark world? They started in between patches. The dark world. What do you mean the dark world? The patches weren't related to uh, Dawn Trail up until the very end, which it set it up, but the void so the void is still in the lore but technically we 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 saved the void kind of um in the patches so that that was kind of like tied with a bow that's done um I'm, maybe we'll see zero in the future but dawn trail is like a whole new whole new ball game whole new story whole new location and everything so the plot's completely different. I can do it. I can try to do a recap. The building is a rotting hut. It has clearly been many years since anyone lived here. <laughs> I'm only on level 97 MSQ, so I'm not done yet. But basically, the first half was getting Waklamat to be Dawn Servant. So we had to go through the different areas. It was like a test. Yeah, you want me to? Okay. Um, we had to go. So basically, her dad was had four options, um, his son, Woklamat, um, his other son, Kona, and, uh, Bakul Jaja, which was not his son, but he was a part of the contestants that were vying to be Dawn Servant. Um, the Dawn Servant, um, Galul Jaja, he basically gave them a task to go to the different areas and meet everybody and basically find the leader and get this keystone and so each leader had like a different task so you to make this a long story short basically they get all the keystones <laughs> and Walkomat is now the dawn servant that's like super fast but but now now that she's the dawn servant um her and excuse me her and her and kona are the dawn servants well, Clement basically decided that that's what she wanted. Um, what else? Uh, the, I keep forgetting his name, but the first promise, basically the first son, wasn't having it. So basically he discovers this place called the City of Gold, which is another thing that we had to be tasked to find. And we found it, and that's why we were Dawn Servant. But the first promise also found it and basically got superpowers from it. We don't know how, except there was like a voice behind the gate, and that's basically how he got his powers. Not sure. But anyways, he used those powers to go and attack Tuliolo, which is the main city. And uh, yeah, now we're trying to figure out what to do for that. The the first promise basically challenged Wuklamat, saying like, come to where I am, fight me, and then if you beat me, then I'll recognize you as Dawn Servant. Um, after he basically did all that damage to his hometown. Anyways, he's the bad guy. Um, and this is the, at least the very beginning part of us trying to figure out what the heck is going on with his new powers. Like, what the heck this stuff is. We don't know yet. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to go and fight the first promise. That was a super TLDR. There's a lot of stuff that obviously happened between... Then. Zeralja. Zeralja is the first promise. Yeah. Good recap. You're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, it's great so far. Love it. <laughs> uh, where am I going though? Oh, I have to go this way. Is Dawn Servant just a hero of light title? Dawn Servant is like the the leader. Yeah, leader of the nation. Yeah. That's the story I skipped through. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I am playing Scholar. It's my favorite. It's my favorite class to play. I love playing Scholar. Actually, it's pretty much my only class that I play. Actually, I take it back. It is the only class I play. 
<laughs> As you can see, I don't have anything else leveled up. Summoner doesn't count, obviously. It doesn't count, but yeah. Yeah, she basically asked Kona because her father was Vow of Reason and Vow of Resolve. Yeah, basically the Dawn Servant had two heads, so she was like, well, there should be two Dawn Servants then, right? Because I'm only, I only have one head. I loved, I loved how she did that. Because I was like, I wanted Kona to be Dawn Servant too, because I loved his character. I am playing the newest expansion. You play White Mage and Scholar? Ooh. Yeah, I tried playing the other healers, but it's been difficult for me. So I kind of just gave up, and I was like, I'll just focus on Scholar. <laughs> All right, finished poking around, have you? Let's gather everyone then. I want you all to take a look at this. White Mage is very sparkly. I love the new skill for Scholar. We literally turn into an angel. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, what the heck? Also, thank you for the follows, everybody. I appreciate it. It's one of the mechanical soldiers, long since broken, apparently. It's not a triangle, though. They look like eyes. But I'd say its presence confirms this is indeed Zoralja's domain we're in. What about the rest of you? Did you learn anything? So all evidence suggests this is Yasulani Station. Aye, and I've no doubt we're in Yasulani, but I don't understand why these buildings are so run down. They were completed barely a year ago. For new structures to deteriorate and enormous ones to appear in a flash, if I don't know better, I'd say time flows differently here. Is such a thing even possible? Can you imagine if by stepping into the dome, it's like, um, what is that movie? Shoot. Where every second that they were in that planet, it was like a full hour had passed or something like that. Like, what if they come out of the dome and everybody they know has died of old age? Interstellar! What if it's like interstellar? That would be messed up. <laughs> we have encountered this phenomenon before as it so happens, so it may be difficult to believe our world is but one of several. In some respects, they are similar to one another, but in others, wholly different. We call them reflections. Oh, wait, Graha. Oh, yeah, Welcome Matt doesn't know that. Um, yeah. Simply put, the rift between dimensions causes time to flow at a different pace in each world. While hours pass in one, years may have come and gone in another. Exactly. But if this is Yasulani, then we should still be in the source. The flow of time should be synchronized. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow all this talk of reflections and dimensions, but if Arabelle says this is Yasulani, then it must be. <laughs> I know, I loved Interstellar. It was such a good movie. Your village is a little further along, right? Aaronville. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, it's a short distance to the northwest. Poor guy is shocked. Let's head there next then. Rather than talk theory, it's always better to confirm things firsthand. Talk theory. Oh, oh, Bzz. may I be of assistance? I wish I could say talk like a robot. It's still functioning? It doesn't seem to be hostile, at least. Perhaps we can ask it some questions. Can you tell us where we are? Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Unable to confirm credentials. Please present citizen identification. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble now. Hi, Kyle. Uh, White Maze is burst and regen healer. Mm-hmm. I applaud you for playing Scholar. I have an easier time with Sage. Scholar is too big brain. Really? I thought Sage was big brain. <clears throat> Alright. Unable to confirm credentials. Bzz. Confirm. Bzz. Confirm. Bzz. Oh. Seems it's broken after all. T too strange by half. Let's leave it be and get going. 
<laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> okay. Scholar's the hardest? Are those lightning rods? Is it really the hardest? I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't leveled the other ones that much, but... Would you accompany me for a moment? There's something I wish to investigate. Let's go, Graha. I didn't realize Scholar was the hardest. Is it because you have to control the fairy? Or something? I never control the fairy. But I didn't say I was the best Scholar. <laughs> oh, am I gonna... Ooh. Ooh, the music! Actually, I need to turn it up. It's kind of quiet. Ooh. It sounds cool in here. Oh shoot, is he down below? Oh, he is. Whee! You left, Todd? Whoa, look at this. What is that? Kyle, <laughs> thank you. Look there, the lightning appears to be drawn to those pole-shaped structures over yonder. The design suggests there's some manner of lightning rod. Oh, these things. Okay. Let's go and take a closer look. Yeah, let's go take a closer look at the lightning rods. Um, whoa, what's that? Call, call, Kiloa. Those look freaky. Hi, Nick. I used to find Scholar easier than Astrologian, but they've, here, let me turn this down actually. Turn it too high now. <laughs> the music's great. <laughs> I used to find Scholar easier than Astrologian, but they've changed Astrologian a few times now, and I haven't played it, so I don't know. Yeah, I tried Astrologian when it first came out. I'm level 55, and that was the most confusing thing to keep track of what each card did. But they've changed it since then, so. Okay. We're inspecting it. They're still releasing new content for this game over a decade after its initial release. Yeah! And there's people that's been playing it since the beginning! Me! Well, actually, I didn't play 1.0. I take that back. I played two... I played A Realm Reborn when that came out. But yes. <laughs> it's been over 13 years. Wait, how many years? It's been over 10 years. It's been over 10 years. It came out in 2013. That's where the 13 came from. Astrology is very different now. All the work to get the collectability to a thousand, then I bonk the note and it says you obtained nothing. Oh no, heck, <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, what are you leveling? Or what are you gathering? Good morning, Auklet. Good morning, everybody. It's been 84 years. <laughs> 11 years? Has it been 11 now? Yeah, because it's almost August. It has almost been 11. I only can keep up with that because that's Final Fantasy XIV is the first game I ever streamed on Twitch. So their anniversary is my anniversary. Well, at least for A Realm Reborn. So, but that's the only anniversary I think they actually focus on, right? Do they? Yeah, I think so. Ah, script collectibles. Alright, this material appear appears to be the same as that used in the mechanical soldiers and warships. On closer inspection, it appears to bear fine etchings, rather reminiscent of arcane runes, these. I suspect they're not merely decorative. Decorative. I would post... Oh, I would post it. Post it? It's used to harness lightning as a source of energy. Quite impressive technology. I'll share this observation with the Ashtola. For a blessing, the dome doesn't appear to interfere with Link Pearls. Thanks for com accompanying me. Let's head to the village and find the others. Alright. <laughs> Let's go! Old Astrologian was so much old. 
Oh, it was so much. Old summoner, too. Breaking my fingers with so many buttons. <laughs> Ooh, this area looks cool. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the middle. Wait, is this the last area? Oh, no. There's one more area after this. What in the world? What in the world? What is this sound? Everything's in ruins. <clears throat> oh, is that a guard? What in the world? Jai! <laughs> oh, found you, Nancy Drew. Wait, that's the perfect My alert. Home. <laughs> the timing. It's in ruins. But why? What happened here? They shouldn't laugh. This is a serious moment. That was funny. Thanks, Jai. What in the world? <laughs> and where is everyone? So this is his hometown. I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all. None of this makes sense. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Who's this? <gasps> Look at her outfit! Also her voice! Look at what is that thing on her back? So cute! I remember we saw her briefly. <gasps> Who is she? <gasps> Look at her outfit! I want it! <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Oh my god. Is she a princess? So Rocha has told me a great deal about you. Her voice is so cute! Soroja? Uh oh. Soroja? Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. Alexandria? What? New waifu acquired? <laughs> I am Sphine, the Sphine. Queen of Reason. She is a queen. Or she's a queen. She queen? Wait, Sphine? I love that name. I'm gonna forget it. Sphine. Like, Reen. Queen of Reason. What is this music? Queen of Reason. Spleen! <laughs> Adam! Can we keep her? If you are the Queen of Reason, is there perhaps. What is this uh... music? It sounds so, uh, what would, how would you, I don't know, lighthearted, I guess. Oh, this is Final Fantasy IX music? I've never played Final Fantasy IX, I have to admit. This is Final Fantasy IX music? Yes, if you mean to ask if there is a king of resolve, Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. Oh, no. Oh no. 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 Then you are both behind the attack on Tulishola. Oh, Alexandria is a Final Fantasy IX reference. And I doubt you're here to oh. offer us a warm reception. I don't know that. Does that mean this reflection is Nine? No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. 
The rule jar rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. What? In truth, we are at odds, he and I. Oh. Okay. Oh, you couldn't hear the music? It is at considerable risk to myself it and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. We'll probably hear it. I'm assuming we'll hear it again. So I'll turn it up next time. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zororja is keen to share and share alike. But if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Look how pretty. <laughs> Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. Listen. Listen. This music's really pretty. Is this also... Is this also Final Fantasy IX? Final Fantasy IX music? Oh, this is so nice. Should I play Final Fantasy IX next? <laughs> Adam, stop. Wait, that is so pretty. That's pretty, okay. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, along with the knowledge to use it. Huh. A gamble, to be sure, but if it might spare my people... Why was she so scared of him? He had no army. If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days? I've never heard of your realm. And this place is... Or at least was Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances weren't. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know. I realize how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolo suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolo. What? I'm confused. <laughs> but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? Oh. How, after the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First. Of course I remember that. It wasn't years ago or anything <laughs> i don't remember the crystal tower story at all <laughs> but yeah graha i'm so sorry they've got all this dope technology right and he's just a strong lizard dude like i guess we'll just make you king i know there's obviously some backstory behind this i don't know i'm thinking it's because the time change the time i don't i don't know i don't know man We'll see. Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. 
Yeah. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Okay, true. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. But what? what? Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. <laughs> yeah, Alice is right. This could be a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides, were y'all as confused as me when y'all got to this part? I don't know what the heck's going on. Thanks, Danielle. What the heck? Poor Arabelle looks so sad. Ah, oh, you're right. It's supposed to be Queen's confusing. Fiend? Okay. Before we go, your Queen's Majesty, Fiend? I have to ask. Did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulihyola? Noble Wook Lamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? <laughs> Noble Wook Lamart. I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zorolja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolo. Oh. So he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Oh. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <gasps> Wonderful. If you how can you be? Me. How can you be mad at, at her? She's so cute. <laughs> Pretty privilege. <clears throat> But I also, I really like her outfit. I really want that outfit, man. Uh, I take it there will be trouble in if Zoralja hears of this. Isn't it a little odd for the queen to be walking about on her lonesome? Yeah, I'll do the I'll do that one. Why is she walking around alone? Queen's fiend. <laughs> is that concern or suspicion? Both. <laughs> If things should take a turn for the worse, might I call upon your aid? Wait, that's cute. Does she? Is she a healer? <laughs> just, of course. But you do strike me as the most capable here. I wonder if she can fight. Is she a viper? Nah, it's too cute. She's cute, too cute to be a viper. She's gotta be like a white mage or something. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, whatever that bow thing is, I want it. Hi, Ray. She never really answered the question. She did it. But there's obviously, there's got to be a reason for that. I did all the side content of Shadowbringer, so it wasn't super confusing for me. It does get a little clear as you go, however. Okay, well, that's reassuring. Could be part of her ploy. I learned not to trust any random Final Fantasy character. <laughs> She's gonna turn evil. Who knows, maybe. I think it goes without saying, but we're not going uh, to trust her just like that, right? As Alice, Alice is sus of her. So, I'll trust Alice. <laughs> anyway, you look at a mysterious girl who appears out of nowhere proclaiming herself a queen is suspicious. Fair, fair. It is amazing, Will. I love it. <laughs> Alice is like, I see right through you. <laughs> She's so cute, though. 
All right, a royal welcome, okay. All right, well, having established that we should be wary, we should use more infor- we could use more information. So let's head to this place, the outskirts, and see what we can learn, perhaps about Sphine as well. You finished? It made me want to play Final Fantasy IX again, did it? I have yet to play Final Fantasy IX, and that was- that and Final Fantasy VIII is on my list of games to play. Um, I'm a little intimidated by 8 and 9, though. I think I'm more intimidated by 9 than I am 8, but obviously I've heard so many good things about both games. Oh, yeah, we're still waiting on the supposed remake. Like, how cool would that be? I would love to play the remake of that game. But then I would want to play the original first, but... So I guess I'd still play the original anyways, but that would be really cool. Whoa, this is cool. Is that a water? Oh, these are crops. Okay, here, let me focus. They're watering. It's like a watering mechanic me mechanism. I trust you have similar farming facilities in Tural. They're completely different from ours. I've got no idea what all those machines do. We settled on this approach after some trial and error. The Turali have their own methods of farming, which they want to continue employing. What's up, Sumi? You okay, buddy? But the environment makes it challenging. There's too much rain and not enough light. Thankfully, the use of Electro has allowed us to fortify the buildings here, as well as provide what nature cannot. Electro, what? Electro, it's a material we use for a myriad devices and applications. A topic for another time, perhaps. If you'd follow me, we're nearly to the outskirts. Hmm. Cat check-in, any wrong room poops? Thankfully, no. But he did keep me and my mom up all last night meowing. <laughs> but that's okay. He's in a new place and he's like, I don't know where I am. But he's like nonstop meowing. He, now he's fine. He's like chilling. You can't see him, but he's chilling right here. Blue obviously is okay. I don't know where he is, but he's living his best life. I think 9 will be remade, but won't get the Final Fantasy 7 treatment. It's just going to be a slight upgrade in graphics. You think so? Should have put him on the porch to meow at the wasp. Oh, uh, but the... Oh, that would be great. I think the freaking wasp... They're still there. The wasps are still there on my balcony, by the way. Darn it. Oh, wait. I want to go... I want to go inspect these things. Thanks, Will. Wow, look at this. Oh, look, there they are. Their outfits are different. Are those pulpitos? No, that's squash. Pro nice and tasty for me. <laughs> what is this? Oh, and add voice acting. Wait, does Final Fantasy IX not have voice acting? Oh, look, here's the the oh Ronik, Ronik. I'm, so, I'm looking around before I go. What is this? Oh! Oh, they're in like a little stable area. Look at them. Living their best life. Oh. Well met. Here to admire the livestock, these burly beasts are runic. They seem mighty frightful at a glance, but you take a look at these big, big doleful eyes and tell me they aren't the sweetest creatures you've ever seen. 
into their eyes. <laughs> they don't look cute. <laughs> they look creepy with those eyes. <laughs> right to me. Yeah. It's like creepy. All right, let's go into the town now. I'm going to look up some cans of fogger to see if there are are any that can kill wasps. They're pretty much smoke bombs you can toss out there and run away. I wouldn't get in trouble for that. Wouldn't like the fire alarm go off or something? Or like the fire sprinkler? I don't know, probably not, but they're on the freaking fire sprinkler. <laughs> but their eyes. <gasps> Look at the dodos! Oh no, it's outdoor. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at the birds. Look how big they are. Look at them compared to my character. <laughs> Look at this. Ah. <laughs> nice legs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this looks. <laughs> if you don't, if the legs are kind of camouflaged, but. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> stop! Oh my god. Burp. Oh. Oh, 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 look at the nest! <laughs> okay, let's keep going. The dodo walks a lot. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything else I can see? Oh, no, we need a, ooh. Ooh, look at the tree! What the heck? Cool. It like has architecture from Tural, or I guess Yasulani, but then it is also upgraded. Ooh, this music. Oh, is this kind of like, it's like the same music from the other area. Oh. Here we are. Though you'll doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange, the traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. Is the music volume too quiet? Can y'all not hear the background music? Everybody has those little doohickeys on their head. Queen's Fiend? What business brings her here, I wonder? Ugh. Could be louder. The Queen has come! But I think their voices are too loud. I'll have to, like, lower their volume. The voices. The queen is come. You look well, Paquine. Paquine? And Katonye, I see you've already taken to your new position. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachi. Me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And Cute. I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them, who they are, and what they've built. They do have a lot in common. I know I love playing a Lalafell. The cutscenes can be so funny. <laughs> That's it. Beautifully put. Sweet. I like her. And it would appear that she is well loved in turn. Your Majesty, <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? Tuliolol's vow of resolve, Wuk Lamart, and her companions. 
They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people and are to be treated as my honored guests. The rumors of a link to the outside are true, then. Rook Lamont is still so young. Oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Popone? That is a ton of to it. Right you are. I take it you hail from this region as well? Tespiani, perhaps? Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kakiwa? Kakiwa. That's how you say her name. Kakiwa. Kakiwa. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Oh. What happened? Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. Oh wait, she knows his mom? You know my mother? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please. Where is she? I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. Suspicious! Look at his eyes got narrow. I have a question, Pepone. Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble. There was a brilliant flash of light. And... Then, forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Papone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not remembering. What? How many years? Wait, it's been 30 years? <laughs> Sus. <laughs> Yeah, see, it does. 30 years? As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. The heck? Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed, and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. Huh. <laughs> Did you ugly cry? <laughs> I normally do too, so... I, I think I've ugly cried every expansion. I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Oh, that's why he said I believed you long dead. Hi, Oran. Oh, because it's so much time has passed. Yeah, when he said that, I was kind of confused, but... It was kind of hard to... That whole scene was so upsetting, it was kind of hard to focus on what he was saying. years. Little wonder Zorolja assumed our father had already passed away. Yeah. Die. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. Did you ugly, gamer, did you ugly cry during that scene with Galul, Jaja? <laughs> um. The what? Temporal Perhaps what? the same holds true here. 
and time flowed faster within the dome. Meaning this is a piece of another reflection? See, that's what I'm thinking. I cannot say for certain, but I strongly suspect that to be the case. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. Of course! Uh... The encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, first headache. If we're to be <laughs> no. anything, we need more information. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Time to see what we can see of Alexandria then. So everybody that got to the station are now 30 years older? Wuklamad's nanny couldn't have lived that Hundreds long, right? People. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasolani. Even if I don't understand the half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zoroja. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Sure, why not? Look how look how much her outfit stands out amongst everybody. Time Though traveling we have wizards. We ourselves <laughs> on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods. The use of electro fuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please. You needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all, and I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. I like her little loopy. Reassuring words. Her hair loopy. Or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. <laughs> oh, of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Now then, if you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. Her little hair loopy. <laughs> I can't say that I trust her yet, but I trust that her affection for these people is genuine, and that's enough for me. <laughs> I wonder if I could do like a little cosplay of her. Oh, thanks, Tired Mama. <laughs> it's cute. Just need like a, it would be like a makeshift cosplay so it wouldn't look that good, but. <laughs> Her little hair boobies so cute. Thanks, gamer. The soles of her shoes are glowy. Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice. Wow, we're in the area. Okay, wait, let me attune. See, this area has like a perfect merge between the Shalani area and uh, Alex Alexandria, right? Alexandria. Wow. This is cool. I want to look around for a little bit before I continue doing the main story. Can I go into any of these houses? Mm, probably not. Look at the tree. It kind of gives like, um, uh, What's that area with all the mamulja? <laughs> it gives off like those kind of vibes with the trees. Cause maybe because they're just glowy, so maybe not. Pretty though. 
So the wall. So I'm assuming his base, his military base. I'm assuming his military base is up there. I don't know what the wall is. So it's been 30 years. Okay, well I guess she's giving me a tour, so maybe I should go back. I'll look at I'm gonna look at her shoes though. I'm intrigued. The you said the soul of her? Oh yeah, look at her shoes. Wait, I just wanna look at our whole outfit. I love these tights. Oh look at the material on the tights. I don't know if y'all can tell. She looks like the umbrella that they came out with. I love whatever this is. This bow. And this. This is so pretty. Ooh, look at her gloves. What is that thing? What is that? Is that like a dagger? Maybe that's her weapon. And I love her necklace. Look at the two roses. I wonder what that says. And then I love her hair pieces. Oh, cute! I like the sparkly kind of fabric lining the skirt. Yeah, like on the inside. It's so pretty. She's in your party. Uh, I don't think she's in our party. <laughs> Electro has done much to improve the efficiency of their farming, but hasn't replaced everything. The people wanted to preserve their old way of life, and we did not want to force ours upon them. You went to such lengths so that our cultures could coexist, even going so far as to learn our tongue. I'm sure everyone appreciated that. Oh! She speaks a different language? The symbol kind of is looks like it's inspired by Kingdom Hearts. Wait, which symbol? This one? Or maybe this? Co communication was thankfully not an issue, for the Tarali tongue is surprisingly similar to Alexandrian. Oh. Of course, there are words and phrases for which there is no equivalent, but those can be taught with minimal effort. Through mutual respect, understanding, and patience, we Alexandrians and Tarali have learned a great deal from one another. And I am sure there is much you wish to learn as well. So please, if you have questions, do not hesitate to ask. I love this though. I love that they're called the Alexandrians. Alexandria. The symbol, wait, which symbol though? I wonder if a uh, Google search will know what it says on the piece she's wearing. I was chilling the other day and someone was translating Alexandrian in shout chat. What? Really? The symbol on her hip. Oh. It's also really, like look at all the sparkles on it. How freaking cute. But yeah, it does. It does give off those vibes, doesn't it, Miffy? Muffy, Muffy, not Miffy. Muffy. Oh, I need to talk to her again. A day in the life, tart Tarali tart. Tart Tarali tart. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Rather than bore you with lengthy explanations, let us head back to the farm we passed earlier. You peas? Are you? Yuppie's Halo is it is called. We can speak with one of the farmers when we arrive. Yuppie, 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 Yuppie. I guess we'll we're off to Yuppie. No, Yuppie. Yuppie is Halo. <laughs> Yuppie. The writing on her outfit is apparently her full name according to the wiki. Fiend Alexandros XIV. <laughs> XIV. The 14th. <laughs> Wait, that's cute. Alexandros. Sphin. Sphin. I like her name though. It's unique. Which is parallel to the princess from Final Fantasy IX. Oh. Ooh, it got so intense, the music. Allow me to introduce you to Mahusa, Mahusa? One of the, Mahusa? One of the most experienced farmhands in all of Alexandria. She's well versed in myriad farming techniques. Indeed, the wealth of knowledge she has shared with the other farmers is what has allowed this place to flourish. 
Queen's Fiend, do... To what do I owe this sudden sh shower of praise? My apologies for the interruption. I am come with guests from beyond the barrier. They wish to learn more of Alexandria, and so I invited them to see how our crops are grown, and I do hope that's all right. So the rumors of vis visitors from the outside were true. What manner of hosts would be would we be to deny them a look around? And I gather your majesty also intended to check on things here. You know me too well. I thought to seize this opportunity to see how the farmers fare and perhaps pepper them with a few questions, though I do so enjoy observing and taking part in the work too. So it appear we have her permission, so please walk the grounds to her to your heart's content. I had a question, I'm forgetting what it was. Um, you go on ahead, I'll keep Sphine company. Oh, is the dome just over Yasulani or is the dome over like the whole, wait, I guess Yasulani is the name of the region. Or oh, I thought that was the name of the city. I literally thought the dome was only over the city. Is it over everything? Like the whole area of Zakhtar, Oh, wait, I don't know what this area is called, this whole area. Don't misunderstand, I'm not the suspicious type, but given our positions, it would make sense for us to go around together, wouldn't you say? A fair point, but be sure not to let me out of your sight. <laughs> what? I shall remain under Wokelamet's watchful eye. Pray, come find us after you've seen your fill and spoken with the other farmhands. Thanks, Huggin. I need a, to run errands now. I'm going to get stuck watching stream again. <laughs> Go run your errands. I'll be here all day. Well, up until four, but that's a long time. So, so this whole area, no, this whole area is called Jokhtara. Oh, oh, that's not what I, that's not what I meant. So is the dome over all of this? Is the dome over this whole area? This is where we were. This is Shalani. I guess heritage found. Maybe, yeah. Yes? Okay. Oh, it was a lot bigger than I thought then. <laughs> I thought it was so small. The whole area. Dang. I like, I like this. This music's great. Light levels appear to be fine. As for the power source, Elias. Hmm, you wish to know about my job? I tend to the fields mostly, watering the crops, keeping the soil f fertile, and so on. It admittedly took some time until I fully understood how best to carry out my duties. Aw, Specky! Hey, listen! A sim every time you've made my day, Kylie, yay, Kylie, yay, Kylie, yay. <laughs> Specky! Stop being so cute! Thanks for donating t $20. That was sweet. Or tipping $20. That was sweet of you. Thanks, Specky. That was kind. I also manage the lamps we use in the fields. We do our best to keep everything up to code, but should there ever start to malfunction, it's up to me to fix them. Thanks, Becky. The land and sky being what they are, ensuring a rich harvest makes for constant work, but honestly, I enjoy how involved the process is. Both my parents being Alexandrian, I didn't grow up knowing much of anything about farming. Oh, both his parents are Alexandrian. Every day is an opportunity to learn and grow. Hmm. Other than the old country looking area. Do you mean Shol Sholani? Or, yeah, Sholani? Do we go talk to the squash guy? Oh, no. Hi, Neek. Hi, Nick. Hee hee, Nick, maybe. Oh, an unfamiliar face. I gather this is your first time on site then? 
Well, this here is the storehouse, or rather the entrance. The real storehouse is underground, much more spacious and equipped with a temperature regulation system to keep the harvest from spoiling. <gasps> underground refrigerator. Didn't they do that back in the day? That's where they kept all the food was underground. Hi, Specky. Since the entrance is so small, uh, it's much easier to prevent wild beasts from wandering inside, which also makes it a viable facility for breeding and raising livestock. We've even got a few beds down there for emergencies. My parents often complain about how Alexandrian technology and electro complicate our lives, but it's just a matter of learning how things work. Take my job, for instance. I'm presently overseeing the storage of harvested crops. They'll be taken up to the tower for processing. Wait, what tower? That tower? That big one up there? And from there, find their way to every dining table in Alexandria. The work is hard, I'll not deny, but I take great satisfaction in what, uh, in what we do. I got distracted. Can I go in the storage? Darn it. I did not expect this to happen in Dawn Trail. I didn't know about Solution 9. I feel like knowing that Solution 9 existed before Dawn Trail came out, I almost wonder if it would have been better if I didn't know about it. Because I knew something of this kind of technology was going to show up, but I just didn't know how. <clears throat> They're saying that you and yours are visitors from beyond the barrier. Is that true? Yeah. So it is, which means we're connected to the outside world again. Not that I have... Wait, again? Not that I have a desire to leave, mind you. I'm quite content with life here in Alexandria. But setting that aside, you're here to observe our work, right? As you can see, I'm in charge of livestock. Here at UP... UP's? Halo, we produce not only fruits and vegetables, but also meat, poultry, and eggs. Tending the animals is an absolute joy, but I have to be careful not to grow attached. It's always a little sad when they're shipped off, but a job is a job. Well, I need to get back to it, but but it's nice talking to you. Please give my regards to the queen. Alright, hold on. I do want to change this. I wanted to make this a little bit higher. So should nine song is so good. Ooh, I can't wait until I get to get there. Or go there. I'm assuming it's in the next area. Is that too loud? Do I need to turn it down? Or is it okay? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And I'll turn it down on my headset. <laughs> it confuses me because my headset has its own volume, so and it's not always matched up to what y'all hear. So sometimes I'm like, <laughs> is it too loud? Oh wait, they're over here. Speak with Sphine. Hello, Sphine. I see. Don't be too hard on yourself. Anyone would have been hard-pressed to deal with such a thing. What? Oh, welcome back. My apologies for failing to notice your return. I gather you've had your fill of speaking with the farmers. Then let us return to Mahusa. Mahusa. So many W's and Z's. Oh. Cutscene. Well, what are your impressions of the farm? Electro is quite impressive. Why not? So it was the Electro that caught your eye. That's only totally natural. I suppose if you come from a place without it. Still, you only seem mild mildly impressed. This leads me to believe you have experience with other or with even more marvelous technology. I'd love to hear your tales one day. And what did you think of our little tour, Lamati? Wait, she called her that? What did you call me? Oh no. 
Was that inappropriate? <laughs> My apologies. Oh boy. I heard that others call you that by name and I thought... No, no, it's fine. As you said before, we've no need for titles and formalities. Isn't that just when you call somebody that's your family, right? Yeah, or somebody like that's super close. As for my thoughts, I was very impressed that machines could be used to overcome some overcome so harsh an environment is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. The mold job people should be able to get that. Maybe it would help them them farm their crops, maybe. The feeling is understandable. Indeed, many still find the machinery behind me baffling. Does it ever get sunny here? Is it, or is it always this? Or maybe I actually don't answer that. That could be a spoiler. <laughs> it's a system that controls the distribution of water for the fields and livestock. It's been acting up lately, though. Acting up, you say? You needn't worry, my queen. It happens fairly often. Put simply, it's taken in water that had a strong lightning charge. We think mo some creatures have been charged up with the energy and they're releasing it into the river we use as a source. Charge up with the energy. The system would return to normal if the creatures were dealt with, but I'm reluctant to beg it of the army. I can deal with it. Perhaps. We could just, we could take care of it if you'd like. That is most gracious of you to offer, but it is much too dangerous. Oh, it's no trouble for the vow of resolved of Tuliol. Regardless of how the relationship between our nations may develop, if there are people in need, I want to help. Simple as that. And Miss is even stronger than I am. It shouldn't take us to take us long at all. Then, very well, I gratefully accept, but please take all care. This ought to go even faster if you and I search for lightning-charged fiends on our own. Good hunting. Good hunting. All right. Time to go fight some monsters. Wait, where? Oh, in the river? Right, yeah, of course. Ever keep ward. Ooh, a thunder spirit. Probably have my chocobo out. Eh, it's fine. Shock blast. Creepy looking birds. Okay, that's one. size I guess not everybody can fit in it that's why but there are there's a there's a house in the Palu Palu area where it's Lollafell only I'm assuming it's because the Palu Palu are shorter so that's why they only allow Lollafells inside even though the house or the door is like a perfectly normal sized door for anybody to walk in there's nothing in there though but Kind of nice that there's some areas only Lollafells can go in. Kind of like in Shadow. Wait, 
Shadowbringer? Yeah, Shadowbringer. Oh, oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay. The monsters have been quelled. Speak with Fiend. Queen's Fiend. I wonder if they did that on purpose to make it, like, match. Queen's Fiend. Oh Yeti! Hi! Thank you so much for 71 months! How are you doing today? Happy Monday! Hopefully your Monday's going well. Thank you for your 71 months! Ahem! <clears throat> oh! You may... Ahem! <clears throat> All right. Ah, you're both all right. Thank goodness. You really needn't have worried so much. You barely spoke. You barely broke a sweat dealing with the fiends. We barely broke a sweat dealing with the fiends. They're all gone now. Of course I was worried. You're my dear guest. But thank you. We truly appreciate this. Indeed. With this, we don't have to ask Raja's machines for help. He's been making a concerted effort to bolster his forces, sparing but a fraction for the people's protection. He thinks nothing of our safety, unlike Queen's Fiend. Well, because he's not a good leader. But that's enough. Mahuasa, if you have grievances, I will hear them later, but to speak of the king now... No, she's right. He's never been one to look after his people. Anyway, thanks for letting us tour the farm. The folk here are delightful, and it was a pleasure to meet them. You couldn't have favored us with more uplifting words. My people are my pride and joy. <laughs> oh, and you never fail to let us know, nor how much you care. Did I read that right? Of course, you're my precious family, all of you. Aww, family. You seem a good sort, Sphine, that I'll admit, but you'll forgive me if I'm not ready to lower my guard for the enemy queen just yet. For the enemy queen? Ha ha ha, for you to be called that, I dread to imagine what villainy your majesty has committed. Come now, this is no laughing matter. Serious. A ruler is responsible for the welfare of countless lives, and one wrong decision can lead to untold suffering. Failure is unconscionable. Now, I believe we are done with the farm. Let's move on, shall we? Day in the life. Completed. Oh, I love her outfit. I want an outfit like hers. I'm assuming we might get an outfit like that. I don't know. On the cloud. On the cloud. Perhaps we should head back to the outskirts. I dare say your friends will also have returned by now. My thanks again for dealing with the fiends. Come and visit us anytime. All right. Nice meeting you. Goodbye forever. Okay, where's Wafflement? Wafflement? I barely explored this area. Oh, no I have. Oh. I made a straight line. Do you hear that? You just unlocked Pictomancer? It's fun even if I don't know what I'm doing half the time. It's fine. You gotta learn somehow, right? What's happening over there? That's how it is for... I don't understand how you guys play the new classes because literally once you start, you have all of the skills all at once. So that can be so overwhelming. It's nearly time. What do you mean nearly time? Time for what? I got goosebumps. Why did I get goosebumps? 
They'll probably put our outfit on mug station. Ooh. Or I kind of just want an outfit that's just similar, that glows like that. Right? With fairy wings. Like the bow where I'm it's glad just you could make it. like neon fairy. Oh, that would be so pretty. But look, even her crown glows. Oh, congrats, Hack. Oh! <gasps> Are you with us? Queen Sphine has come to see you. Oh my god. Don't tell me this is Wuklamat's Wukla nanny. I fr I'm figuring for Namika. Is this Namika? But she's older. Does she have dementia? Or. Does she. We're here, Namika. Oh my god, it is. Everything is going to be all right. Oh my god, so it really is. Everybody got... Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh my god. What's the matter, dear? Wait, why did she say anything? Did she not hear her say Namika? Oh my god, she notices the bracelet. It can't be. That's the bangle I gave to Namika. You know her. Oh boy. Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... is it really you? She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us it was perhaps days, but for her... Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Oh god, that's upsetting. Has she no more soul cells? She always used her sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Soul cells? Is that what makes people get revived? Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. The ushers? Wait, show her Wuklamat. Wait, show Thank her. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Aww. Living on in memory. The giants share a similar belief. <gasps> Did the Yaqui get that idea from them? The Alexandrians? Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There, we will ease her burden. What does ease her burden mean? Hi, Boiler. Huh? I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. She probably was hoping to see Wuklamat again. Go in front of her. Maybe she'll notice. She must be. She was already Is pretty old. Plus 30 years on top of that. Longer. Aww. We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Peace. Aww. This is Dawn Trail, yes. I'm on level 97 MSQ. Alone.
crazy how the time thing happened. Ooh. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. Aw, she didn't speak? Aw. It's not the end. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. Hmm. What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a void gate, or even with the crystal tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. What? <laughs> they would liken it to a rejoining. Oh. You're right, it is kind of like a miniature rejoining. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but this talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. Wait, what? It was ra the continent was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. The was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. Oh. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents, by means unknown. In other words, Sphine's as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. But of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. What? That tower over yonder. What? She's just gonna ignore us? Ma'am. Not sure. Uh, wait, Shadowbringer is the end of the free trial up till level 70, yeah. So you play all through Stormblood and then it stops. So then you'd have to get Shadowbringers, yeah. Yep, yep. Every expansion, they increase the free trial and expansion. <laughs> NPC just glitched out for a second. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's like, uh, I'm just going to close my eyes and changing subject. <laughs> Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 and its residential district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. Oh, what? For, what? They said Solution 9. Once you've been registered as my guest, you'll have access to Solution 9 in its residential district? What? 
What? Unfortunately, what? I cannot take you directly to where Zoralja resides. What? Why not? That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zoralja do as he pleases. So, our solution nine is... But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. I've come to avenge my father. And to do so, I intend to take Zoralja's life. Are you willing to stand by and allow Alexandria's king to be slain? We're king slayers. A fair question. Though we don't see him a king in our eyes. No way. They bring you to <laughs> they bring you to the shower ring and then the funds run out. Up to level 70, so in storm blood. Yeah. I look like who? Permit me to answer it Spain? thus. My people come <laughs> <first. laughs> Their welfare is paramount. Okay. I will do everything in my power to keep them from harm. Oh, music's so cute. It is a rule of duty. Can y'all hear it? Who is this body? No. I am off to queen. register you at Everkeep. She's a queen. It may queen, take some queen. time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. We're still learning about her. Oh, and ere I forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, you might try the Thunder Yards to the east. The Thunder Yards? The Thunder Yards? But, but his mother is going to be 30 she years older. From what he remembered. I am afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards and all will be made clear. She's not dropping everything. Eh? It's what? not as if we have all the pressing business. Not until we can get into this Everkeep anyway. What? Why did his little headpiece make weird noises? <laughs> what was that? What? Did y'all see that? <laughs> that was a weird noise too. Thank you for earlier. And for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Namika? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you mean. What? What? Wait, did that sound mean that they wiped a memory of a person? What? But I thought they said they're, you're, what? The Queen's Fiend literally said you'll always be in our memory. That's a lie! Creepy, look at all the zoomed in faces. What? What? We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. The government wiped his offense, memory. But I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. I guess his eye cloud, uh... <laughs> what? What? Wait, I would actually love that. Can I store my memories in iCloud? <laughs> Besides my pictures and videos. But eventually that cloud is probably going to get full. They're going to have to wipe some memories. <laughs> what the heck? What, what is this concept? Wait, that's kind of funny though. Oh, I would have liked that. Put my memory in the cloud because my memory sucks. Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there in the cloud. Oh, that's why this story oh, is in the cloud. I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. Oh, is that... What? 
Huh. It's the iCloud scenario all over again. Wait, what scenario, Supreme? The heck? <laughs> what is this? What? The what? Can you imagine if you're just like, oh, I don't remember you, but it's saved in the cloud. I can go back to it whenever. Interesting. Interesting. But like, why? Why would they need to download their memories and then swipe it? Oh, maybe that's how they're able to be revived or something. Because that thing can also revive them. Um, aw, thing thing! Oh, you mean the- True, Supreme, that's- Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking about something else. Got it. What's going on? How could Pepone suddenly forget about Namika? It's as if he never knew her. Could the same thing have happened to others as well, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. Let's make inquiries about Namika in the area. We can reconvene afterwards at the 8th rate. Right. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna pause here, because I'm, I'm hungry. I kinda wanna take a small break, but then I'll come back and we'll continue. Speaking with the people. To figure out about Namika. Alright, we got coffee. We got cozy vibes. And now we just gotta keep playing Final Fantasy. An old woman named Namika? I'm afraid I don't know that person. I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. <gasps> Nobody remembers Namika! This is sad. There might be a place nearby that I can check out when it isn't too hot. Ooh. That's a good idea. Expand your horizons on where you can where you can take your little weekend trips. Oh, that sounds so nice though. I'd love to go to the beach. <laughs> we were going to. Me and my family were gonna go to the beach, but um, my brother-in-law couldn't take vacation. And it was kind of just like awkward. Cause we're like, well, not awkward, but we're like, oh, well, there goes that idea. Because <laughs> my sister isn't going to want to go without him, right? Of course. But me and my mom could still probably have gone, but then, eh, I don't know. I feel like it's more fun when, you, when it's with all family members. How does the Materia Enchanted work? I have a quest. To enchant a cotton acton? What's an acton? Uh, so wait, you're you're wanting to put materia in your clothing? So like the the two green circles. You have to go to a materia. Ooh, where are they? Um. Um, I think they have to, are they only in the main cities? Where the heck is Limza on this? Where are you, Limza? Does this not show? Oh, there it is. You need to go on the map. Here it is. See this little blue egg looking thing? You go to the blue egg and they do it for you. You just have to have the materia in your inventory and then you just tell them what outfit and then they meld it. But yeah, it's this little blue egg. This is the one in Limsa. You just take a left at the eighth right. But every town has one, so you don't have to go there. Hmm, I do recall caring for someone until recently and you say that it was a woman named Amika? Well, I can't say for certain if it was her. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure she's just been taken up to the cloud. People are way too chill of having their memory wiped. That's nuts to me. Not remembering stuff is like the bait of my existence. I hate not remembering certain things. But the idea of having your memories backed up on the cloud, kinda cool. <laughs> they don't get wiped. What's that? Do I know a Namika? Never met anyone by that name. I've worked at the outskirts for a good while now. If she spent he time here, I would remember. Some people are more open to be like, yeah, that's possi That's a possibility that I might not have known her. And then some people are flat out like, nope, never heard of her. <laughs> Alright, let's go wait at the designated location. Spark payment. Is it only rain here? This area 
so pretty on in inside the town, but it's so dreary outside. Why do you turn it up? So it was the same for everyone. Not a single person remembers Numika. It's as if the memory of her has been purged from their minds. While such a thing might be done with magic, to alter the memories of so many at once would be a tremendous undertaking. We would have felt a surge of ether corresponding to the act too, and I sensed none in that moment. Neither did I, but I did notice something else. Right before Popone seemingly forgot, a light in the device on his head began to blink. There could be a connection. Someone also said something about soul cells. Soul cells. Alright, they did talk about soul cells. Um, but who might be, who might we ask about this? If we continued making such inquiries, I expect we would only cause confusion. Confusion. Indeed, if we can't readily solve the mystery about Namika, perhaps we could search for... Oh, I always forget Aaron Bell's mom's name. Kukuya? How do you say it? Kaka! Instead. Sveen said to try the Thunder Yards. Right. It should be in this direction. Thunder Yards. Assuming his mom... What? What is that? What was that? What is that? <gasps> Impossible! Unidentifying, unidentified floating object? Wait, did he think it was being sneaky? Huh? <laughs> Another kind of mechanical soldier? It looks dangerous! We'd better destroy it! <laughs> How does that look dangerous? Wah! Wait, it's kind of cute. I need to catch up. I want to know who that hot one with the axe is. Oh. <laughs> who, who she is? Yeah, you should catch up to Dawn Trail. She's, she is a, I like her character. Should we give chase? Kuf Kiwa. Kuf Kiwa is kind of how the mom's name sounds, if I recall. Kuf Kiwa. Yeah, you're right, Rhea. That does. For some reason, I can't. I don't know. It's harder. It's harder to me. It's harder to me. <laughs> when I read it, I'm like, wait, how do you say it? But after I hear it in a cutscene, I'm like, oh, okay. I think it, underst it understood our words. It might be worth asking it some questions. Aaronville, are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. It, it's nothing. I'm fine. Well, it went off in the direction we're headed anyway, so let's let's try to track it down. Well, that is great, yes. That is a she, never mind. Oh, did you think Wuklamat was a guy? Hi DS! She is a female Hrothgar. Or a female... What is the Hrothgar in this area called again? I forgot. The race names changed in this area. area region. Hello. Are these the thunder yards? Oh, over here? No, wait, we're following the thing. Never mind. Oh. What is that? It looks cute and it makes cute sounds. 
with bubble sounds. Has anyone here bought items from the Mog Station? I have. You found it? To the northeast? Then it must be bound for the mines. Come on then. It could well be a trap, so let's not rush in too quickly. Everything is a trap in Alice's eyes. She is pretty muscular. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at all the thunder spirits. Wait, where do I? Oh, I have to go in there. Okay, let me go around this creature. faint voices coming from inside so it's not alone but we're still going in of course this may be a trap be ready for a fight everyone you're still considering the transmog outfit I want uh which one is that you did MG really <laughs> I love that actress well and well now she's a director too isn't she Her, so that's a nice compliment, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, aether current. Is the music too loud? I think it is. Let me turn it down. Are you stretching? He's putting his nails. He's putting his nails on my couch or chair. Aw, thanks, Fox! Thanks, Wolfie! Yuna's Final Fantasy X Summoner outfit. Yeah, I got that one, too! I got that one from the Mog... I've gotten several things from the Mog Station. I also got a couple mounts um, from the Mog Station. Um, I believe this one. <laughs> this gigantic one. It's crazy, right? But it seats... At least I think I got this from the Mog Station. But it, it holds, like... I don't know, 10 people or... It holds a lot of people. Where most mounts tend to just do like four. Um, but it's perfect for people that like miss events and stuff. Um, look at, doesn't this look absurd? <laughs> this looks so absurd. It's a car. They have some very interesting mounts in this game. This one's one of my favorites. I just hug onto its stomach. <laughs> it's called a Pisa. <laughs> it's also, this creature is also a minion. Oh look, I also have a ghost. It's like a ghost car. It's so tiny. Um, that's another one I like. This one's pretty expensive. I won the lottery in the game. So I got... <laughs> Is, <laughs> it's cool, huh? And it, it shines at night. Um, during the daytime, you can't really tell how illuminating it is, but during nighttime, you can. And then this one, y'all can get this one now. I assume the drops are still happening, right, on Twitch? Because on Twitch, they're having like a drop thing where if you watch a creator for four, six hours or something, you get this mount. It's cute. Anyways. But yes, I've bought in several stuff before. Only thing I bought as was Cloud's bike, but thinking about the outfit. Well, if it'll make you happy, then yeah. MGP grind! I just got so lucky, Ragsy. I got so lucky because I got my wondrous tails a long time ago. I got the uh bing bingo? Bingo? Wait. Whatever it's called. I got so lucky. And I won that, and that gave me a ton of MGP, so then I didn't, I didn't have to. You got all nine. Yes, I did. Wait, I have a clip of it. Not that I need to prove it, but I got a clip of it, because I, I did it on stream, and I was so lucky. 
And I literally, I was so shocked. I like covered my eyes and I said like right before I covered my eyes, I was like, okay, I need the pie and I need, I can't remember the other one. And then it happened and I was like, no way. It was perfect. It's crazy how lucky that was. I can hear them, several people up ahead. Hmm, I can't make out their conversation with the echoing. Let's keep going, stay on your guard. This is a hidden base. It is really expensive, Shadow, but you know what? Do whatever makes you happy. And this is, you know, it's only outfits, right? And mounts, right? It's okay. If it makes you happy. Ooh, secret base. Thank you. Uh. Oh, you're saying you already did. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whatever thing this is, it's so cute. Look at its little eyebrows. <laughs> oh, is it angry? What is this? <laughs> what is it? Oh! Ironville! <gasps> it was a trap! What 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 is the uh, way they Darn it, it was a trap. Okay, shoot, they were right. Oh wait, what? It really is you! What? It said his real huh? name. Huh? <laughs> Who? Yeah, let me turn it up. Who? I just have to get a look at you in the light. And I can still hardly believe my eyes. But it is you, my darling little spirit! Wait, is this his mom? My darling, what now? Did you get it as an achievement? I didn't know that. But you get what is an achievement, Raxi? It looks like the PlayStation mascot or something. <laughs> Kinda. Oh. Oh my god, look at his eye. Oh, it's so good to see you, my fussy little bun bun. <laughs> but what are you doing here? What brings you all this way? Oh, really? As an achievement? Fussy little bun bun? <laughs> Wait, this is cute. Oh, aw, you have to get all your classes to 100. <laughs> Why the long face? Aren't you happy to see me after all this time? He's like, who the heck are you? Well, I guess he- I know that laugh anywhere. Mother? Oh, there you go. It really is his mom. Wait, wait, wait. Since when was your mother a weird floating thing? <laughs> and what have we here? Say, aren't you Galoo Jaja's kitten? Galoo Jaja's kitten. <laughs> I knew I recognized that adorable fuzzy face. Ellen Espier was always so excited whenever you invited him over to play. You remember me, I hope. How do you say his name? Ellen Espier? Ellen Espier? Ellen Espier? Thanks, Rexy! I can't say that I do, but you know my father? <sighs> is, he, is she like controlling this remotely, maybe? Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. Mm. Kafkiwa, Ria. You were right. Yeah, Airville is so much easier to say. <laughs> Two girls with pink hair and one with blue. She must like pink and blue. <laughs> pink and All blue friends. All I ask friends. is a little forewarning, but no. Oh. Oh wait, there's more people? Wait, who are all these people? Look at them, they're like, what in the world? <laughs> no explanation? She's either remote Just controlling when I started, it. I'm starting to get a handle on this place. 
How are things still getting stranger? Or maybe like all of her, maybe she died and all of her memories are put into this robot? Maybe? We'll find out. You're entering my favorite part of Dawn Trail. Hope you enjoy, have enjoyed the story. I've loved it so far. What is this radio music? Or it sounds like it's from a... It sounds like lo-fi. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, this is such a vibe. Oh, I'm gonna have to have this later so I can, like while I'm crocheting or if I'm reading. Oh my God, I have to have this song in the background. <laughs> Pink! Uh, whoa, I love it. Whoa, this is so new! Love that. As far as I can tell, this is indeed my mother. I can think of few people in the world quite so spirited. But as to what's happened, we'll need to ask her. <laughs> scared me. Gone and forgotten. Oh gosh. So when's the last time he's seen his mom though? Obviously she wasn't a robot last time he saw her, but still. It is Lofi, right? It's nice. Let's hear what she has to say. Sigh. We're gonna get his backstory, aren't we? Finally. Ooh, we got some coffee. Look how big the mugs are for the Lollafells. It's so wonderful to meet you all. Everything is always like downsized. Everything except like the food and like the cups in this game. <laughs> oh. Hi, <laughs> you scared me, Stewie. What are you doing? Come here. And the students of Baldesian, it's a, been a while since I heard that name. Okay. Dare I ask the reason for your appearance? Yeah, like, let's get the elephant out of the room. Oh, this? It's just a body I control remotely. I use this for operation. So it is a remote body. Sorry. We're members of a resistance organization called Oblivion. Oh, Oblivion, we call ourselves. And our goal is to thwart Zoralja's ambition for conquest. <gasps> Rebellion. So that's why they're hiding out. It's a hundred percent. Are 100% an acceptable distraction? Hey, my buddy. Don't you eat. He doesn't want to be picked up, though, but I'd pick him up right now if I could. We're members of Resistance. Okay, Oblivion. So they call Oblivion. Oh my god, hair everywhere, though. <laughs> As the leader, it's prudent that I remain where I can't be easily found. Oh, so that's why. I see. Whimsical appearances notwithstanding, yours is a serious case. Cause. Case? Cause. Right, you are. Uh, though, truth be told, Oblivion was founded for an altogether different purpose. And that is? As I expect you've already noticed, everything you see within this dome, the buildings, the people, the very earth beneath our feet, is a fusion of two worlds. There we got our answer. It's a fusion. Stopping such a fusion. What? Where are you? Where are you? Where am I? Where are you? Boy, I can hear you, but I don't see you. What? Okay. Stopping such a fusion was Oblivion's original mission. Then does that? Can y'all hear him? By the way. Hi, Che. I'm good. How are you? Then does that mean? 
you know who or what is responsible for it? I'm afraid not. This was a long time ago and our mission statement has become more of a legend that's passed down to members. By the time we joined, our sole objective was stopping Zoralja. Oh, <laughs> the face. Thanks, Brianna. Somebody just wants to play hide and seek. Somebody just wanted to go outside. He was by the door, I didn't see him. <clears throat> but we failed to do that and now he's taken his army outside the dome. None of you wear those strange devices on your heads. Does that have something to do with your work? The device. You mean this? It's a regulator, the pinnacle of electro technology, and that, and that we don't wear it is indeed related to our operations. Hmm. What exactly does it do? Allow me to explain. Regulators have two primary functions. The first, as the name suggests, is the regulation of the wearer's reserve of souls. Should they die, the regulator expends a soul to bring them back to life. Huh. And I guess you only have a certain amount of souls. That's so interesting. But maybe, like, in order to have that happen, that's why they have to pack back up their memories on the cloud. Huh. Interesting. Reserve? You mean people walk around carrying spare souls? Yeah, that's the other thing. Wait a second. Hold on. There was something I remember one person said, which they were saying, like, can't remember now. Oh, it, anyways, they do. Souls are packed in cells and they can be used to replenish the life force that is lost due to sudden death, such as an ax such as an accident. They do nothing for those who die of old age though. Who is that person that we fought recently? Oh my god, it was the guy in the dungeon before this in Vanguard. It was the boss, and he said, like don't make me, I don't know, regret using all these souls or something. <gasps> That's messed up. I thought you had a cosmetic of that device on your desk for a second. <laughs> no, Jay. Wait, that would be funny. Oh, here it is. Distribution, it did look like that though, that's funny. Distribution of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation to encourage exemplary performance when fulfilling their duties. Distribution of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation. What the heck? <laughs> souls are, souls as a common resource and payment for services rendered. Oh, shoot. This reflection is intense. They use the souls of other people to revive themselves. The voidant practice of consuming others for their ether comes to mind. <gasps> this is where, this is from the void. Oh my God. And similarly, I expect that the act comes with some risk. Oh my God, that, it, that, this is like a void scent thing. You remember that's how they exchange, what is it, payment? It's been a while since I had to do the patch story, but... Oh my god, I love it. Oh, you just finished it on Saturday? I love it, though. This part is, like, such a huge twist. This is crazy, though, as well. The soul. Kingdom of Bob. We saw zero again. I forgot what that was. Doesn't it dilute your, self, your sense of self? Wouldn't the consciousness of others corrupt your own? 
Oh yeah. Well, both of those are good. I'll, I'll say the second one. That is prevented through memory management, a process in which regulators also play a role. Zero Mist, the last boss. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Thanks, Jai. <laughs> well, how did I forget that? Was that really Zero Mist? It looked different. Maybe, no, it looked the same. What am I talking about? Memory management, then the reason everyone has forgotten Amika's existence. Looking at why is he looking at her? The regulators are constantly recording the memories of their wearer, so if they should suddenly die, the memories can be refreshed as part of the restoration process. Backed up on the cloud. Oh shoot! But then how did it get erased? This is how they preserve one's identity and sense of self. However, the regulators are also triggered when someone else dies. Reason being is that regulators forcibly extract memories relating to the deceased from anyone wearing them. Or wearing one. Right. It forcefully does it. Why would they do such a thing? It's a kindness bestowed upon the people by Everkeep's core system so that no one has to suffer the pain of loss? So you just straight up forget about them? That's messed up! Aw, oh, really, Jay? Aw, oh, that's me. It's fresher on my mind since I did it recently. That is true, Jay. True, true. Wow. They think it's a kindness? To never, I guess, experience loss? So this is what is meant by their memories being in the cloud. We need to talk to Queen Spleen, man. This is messed up. She's the queen of this. Indeed, all memories of the deceased are wiped from the minds of the people and archived in the system. Like the thought was there, but uh, it's a frightening function of the regulators, an integral step in soul cell production. Oh, it's a step. Okay, here we go. Now we got some main explanations. Oh, his outfit is super cool. Look at his shoes. You see, when a person dies of natural causes, their soul is temporarily housed within the regulator. It's then delivered to a facility where memories are separated from the soul. Okay. Oh my god, we remember seeing that, remember? It took out a blue one and then an orange one. Oh, it's white now. The result is a fresh soul cell. Free of impurities, ready for distribution and consumption? What? So you're using the soul of somebody that died to revive yourself? Whoa, that's messed up. so happy is it kind of like you know how when people pat in real life how people pass away and then they just donate their organs to save somebody else's life is it like that maybe hi food i have my other spots while playing in a second hi are you playing too shadow bringers ptsd is kicking in <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, the memories are stored in the core system to be remembered forever. Uh, and 
this is why people are happy here. On its surface, it's similar to the Yaqui philosophy, but I see nothing noble or comforting in it. It's like a one-up. <laughs> but I think, I guess it depends on how many souls you get to... Right? It seems like maybe you get more than one-ups, right? I guess what they said, it depends on your work service or something. What the heck? This is so messed up. Finished right before the weekend. I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, you said good story, so you did enjoy it. Good. What may, re, what reminds the, you of this, Jai, about Shadowbringers? It's been a while since I've played. That too. Your memory is more fresh than mine. Well, it doesn't seem so terrible to me personally. All comes down to what you're used to, I suppose. Geo doesn't think it's bad. Okay. Oh, consuming others. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, true. Like the barrier encasing Alexandria, this system was created to overcome the, cl overcome the calamity and transform the world hundreds of years ago. What was that called, Jai? What they ate? Mole? Whole soul? Mule, meal, meal, meal. What was it called again? Is that what you're referring to? Again, I don't remember. <laughs> like the barrier casing like the cinder was created to overcome the calamity that transformed the world hundreds of years ago. The calamity. Meal. 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 Is it like that? Admits the mount, mounting death toll, scientists used electrobe to devise a means to save what lives they could so that the nation could endure. Oh, so this was a solution to keep people alive. But how do they choose who is going to stay alive? No, poo, not, don't do that, Emil. They keep the doctor away. Stop that. Except here, they're consuming souls. Yeah. Mule didn't have souls in it. It was just, you know. I understand the people of Alexandria did what they believed was best to save their people. I just find it hard to believe that Turali would also accept this way of living. Uh, yeah. It came as a shock to us as well. In fact, a great many were opposed to it. Which is why the use of regulators was never compulsory. The people have always been free to go without them if they so wish. Oh, so it's up to the people. Okay. Sveen didn't strike me as a sort of ruler to impose her will on others. Ah, so you've already met? She's the one who suggested we come to the Thunder Yards in the first place. She also said she wants to help us stop Zeralja. Awfully kind of her to point you in my direction and so excuse me and to speak so candidly as well. So she still is a little sus. Like this is this whole Whatever her motive, she has given the people a choice. Live with the risk of true death or the security of the regulators. Everything that lives must someday die. This is that is the natural order of things. For real. Quite right, but however you feel about them, it would be easier to understand what the regulators are capable of if you saw it for yourself. Oh, music again. And I just, I know just the person to show you, and as luck would have it, they should be starting work right about now. lo-fi beat for this area I feel is like perfect who are we going to see exactly come with me and you'll find out Oh, 
Wait, hold on. Let me unpause my alerts now. Thank you again, Pooh, for the 94 months. I'm gonna need you to play Final Fantasy 11. Why? Oh, the other MMO? Wait, why is that? Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> to get anywhere and do anything it's very much an old-school hardcore Japanese MMO uh, it's hard yeah I mean I've, I've played my fair share of very difficult I wouldn't say Japanese MMOs but difficult to get around games in like the 90s um, the little Jaja was an 11 okay I was right is that what makes you think it's a lot better just because it's it can be more satisfying when you actually do figure something out because it doesn't hand hold you as much because there's been games like that where i'm like oh they made it easy not not for final fantasy 14 my first my first experience well final fantasy 14 when i played was actually pretty confusing they've made it a lot um easier to get around probably still easier than Final Fantasy 11 but when I first played what 11 years ago 10 years 10 <laughs> 10 years and 11 months ago um it was a lot more frustrating but there's a lot more quality of life that they added but I probably would have actually enjoyed Final Fantasy 11 I was so in MMOs when I first started getting into gaming um like my first mmo was maple story <laughs> and because i would only play the free mmos back then because i had a really core group of friends also i feel like i'm yelling because the music's so loud sorry let me turn this down um but i had a core group of friends and we basically would mmo hop um, back in the day, and I played so many type of MMOs. I wonder why we never got into 11. I think it's because it wasn't free. It was also subscription-based too, right? But that's probably why. <clears throat> when I started, the hardest thing was buying it. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, buying Final Fantasy 14? <laughs> the 24 man this time is called Echoes of Van Deal. Van... Va oh, Van deal being the world in 11 how cool is that man that must be awesome for people that did play 11 and are playing 14 to see that not collab but you, you know addition yeah i know final fantasy 11 is also an mmo i don't but again i don't know why our friend group didn't start playing it because eventually we did play subscription-based games. Like, we played Ion and Terra back when those first came out. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know why we never played 11. I started an end walker in Final Fantasy 14 was my first MMO. It was easy to get into, but it had a learning curve. It does have, it did have a little learning curve. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy you got into, or I'm happy that 14 was your first MMO. How did you start an end walker though, Andy? 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 Any server probably, prob problems in an A? Oh, are there any server problems in an A? Uh, nope. Are there any, wait, are there star server problems in other regions right now? So, it seems fine. All good. All good. My character turns 10 years in August. Thanks for getting me into, in, I got you into Final Fantasy XIV, Poo. Did I? Oh, I guess I did. You're 94 months up. That makes sense. I'm so happy y'all are, y'all are enjoying this game. This is one of my favorite games ever. Your time goes to 14 or 11, you can't bl play both. You mean you can't play two really immersive, detailed MMOs at the same time? Wow. That's not totally, that's totally understandable. <laughs> Playing any two MMOs at the same time, it feels impossible. Aw, thanks, Apple. Oh, you started during the launch of Endwalker. Okay, so when Endwalker came out, then you were doing all the expansions. So, A Realm Reborn, Heaven's Sword, Stormblood, etc. Got it. Oh, cool. You came in at a good time. I feel like when Endwalker came out, it got crazy popular. So it brought in a lot of awesome people. I'm happy y'all are playing. Oh, no. EU was completely down. Uh-oh. You think NA is next? Did they say why? Did they know? Is this coffee? Yes. <laughs> I think collab might be right to call it. In alliance with Final Fantasy XI is how it was described. Okay. It plays very differently. Oh, I bet. I've seen some. I've seen some gameplay of Final Fantasy XI. It was nice because you got to binge the entire story arc. Honestly, I, I think that's best because. There's people like me, or maybe I'm the only one. Um, I seriously doubt it, but because there's so much time in between the expansions, I forget what happened. I forgot. I forgot what happened. And unfortunately, this is the biggest unfortunate part. Um, back in the day, during the time I would play MMOs, story was just a thing you skipped. It was just a thing you skipped. You didn't actually really pay attention to the story. At least majority of my friends didn't, so I didn't. So unfortunately, I skipped all of the story in A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Sword, um, and I still to this day haven't actually gone back to replay the story. I don't want to replay the story of A Realm Reborn, no offense. It's a crime, I know, I know. But I did watch a recap, but it was a really, short recap so I don't think it did it justice um I watched a recap before I started playing Stormblood and but that, I don't recommend that <laughs> um yeah it was Stormblood is when I started actually paying attention to the story and I would say Stormblood was all right I didn't really I like I, I liked it I didn't like it was okay it, it was like it was good um, but like Shadowbringers and Endwalker is where I was like, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> I feel, I feel like I sinned <laughs> by not paying attention. But I, but it was like a thing to do with my friend group and just how, how used, I, well, I was so used to just skipping the story because no MMO had good story except obviously, obviously. This one was different, but anyways, I digress because it's so good to like binge it because that means your memory is so fresh and you remember the characters, you remember what happened. It's just, it's so much better, but like people who played at the beginning, like I didn't remember A Realm Reborn at all. Like I didn't remember anything, so I had to do so much research when they were like referring to things in Shadowbringers, especially in Walker. I was like, what? That happened, <laughs> and it's, I felt like an idiot because I just forgot because it had been so long since I played the story, right? Anyways, 
Hi, Kevin. I just meant it, it because of Heaven Sword. Yes, I, I knew what you meant. Around Reborn, but yeah, he Heaven Sword I shouldn't have skipped. I know. I know. Maybe one of these days I'll go back and I can just play Heaven Sword. It would be totally fresh. Granted, it's spoiled because <laughs> I already know what happened, but it's okay. <laughs> but then maybe I would have been like, oh, this is why. No. In Final Fantasy XI, after level 50, you have limit breaks you need to do in order to level up beyond 50. Limit break 1 unlocks level 55, and limit break 2 unlocks 60. What in the world? That's interesting. Miss the joys of Prey Return to the Walking Sands a million times. No, I still had to... I still had to see that, Rhea. <laughs> what are you talking about? I still had to see that. I just meant... Oh, wait, wait. Skipping Rumor Born, a crime indeed. I feel like a lot of people would disagree with that. Oh, Vin! Oh, I get it now! Because Kevin, I see. I remember when Heaven's Word came out, you were hype. I was hype because I was so excited to play more. Right? I was so excited to just to play more Final Fantasy and and when did Heaven's Word come out after A Realm Reborn? It was like several years after, wasn't it? Poor Kylie doesn't even remember Ultima Weapon. Nope. Well, I know what it is, but... I loathe the robot. I know, isn't it cute? <laughs> I should keep playing, huh? We went on a tangent, but this was fun. She was hyped to hit that skip button. I was hyped because I love doing the dungeons in this game. The one cool aspect of this game that I really enjoyed is that you could level sync, so you can still do dungeons with your friends that were like already max level. That's kind of what drew me to Final Fantasy XIV. That and being able to play literally every class on one character. Those are like the two draws that um, I really liked when, when Final Fantasy XIV was announced. Oh yeah, I'm level, I'm level 100. Hi James, thank you. Hi Orca. Two years after, was it two years? Jeez. Technically, a Realm Reborn rebooted all of 14 because Vanilla 14 was a hot mess. Yes, I didn't play 1.0, but I do, I, I am aware. Thanks, Oni. How do you manage all those buttons? It's, it's intimidating. You start as you start at level one, Kevin. At least with the scholar, or technically an arcanist. So you start with level one with like one skill, and then you get more as you level up. That's how I can manage all the buttons because I've been, I've I've used these buttons for so long. There's a lot of buttons like this one that I probably shouldn't have on my bar, but. I have anyways, but that's how. <laughs> Finally got the tank cactus minion. There's a tank cactus minion? <gasps> One million? Ooh, that's not bad. She skipped the Astinian. I know, but the thing is I quit that. Don't make me feel bad, okay? I wasn't around, you know how the people you were around impact your lives and positive ways. Well, I was around people that skipped the story, okay? Don't blame me. But I, I should go back. I should go back. But I still love Asinian, even if I skipped his scene or his expansion. That's why I'm having trouble understanding Viper. You start with a bunch of new buttons. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you guys do that. Like, every, every new expansion... There's obviously a new class, and you get a ton of buttons all at once. Granted, it's not every class, but it's all the new classes, right? So I don't know how y'all do that. I only play Scholar. This is my main and only class that I enjoy playing. Um, so yeah, I don't know how y'all do that. But yeah, it is pretty overwhelming. I tried with Sage, but I was overwhelmed. It's from the level 100 extra dungeon. Oh, okay. Bye, Kevin. It's so e uh, Viper's easy. It makes Samurai look like Dancer. What? <laughs> skip Sinian. Don't. You skipped his whole character development. 
It's okay. <sighs> Tell me about it, okay? I already feel so bad that I did it, all right? I don't need you guys to make me feel worse, okay? That was a long time ago. Things were so different back then. Y'all didn't know me back then. I was so different too. I barely spoke to you guys. <laughs> I was too scared to, to talk. So I just focused on the game and I never spoke. Lots of floor tanking the first few weeks. It's okay. He's still dreamy. He is still dreamy. I don't know who y'all's favorite character is, but mine's Asinian. I'm trying to figure out how to level up because I can't get... What is that? A Hippogriff Sinew? I'm a level 28 Conjurer. Oh, can you buy one? How do you like healer? Way too much pressure for me. I've always healed in any MMO, so I think it's just, uh... I'm just used to it. I like it, though. I feel like I'm pretty good. I've done an ultimate fight before. I did the first one. Um, I got the, what is the title you get? Ultimate Legend? Or whatever. I can't even remember how to change my title, but yeah. Wow, Orca! 120 stream streak? What the heck? <laughs> Thanks, Orca. I was a different person back then! Lulu, I wish my VODs could have kept before the Twitch apocalypse happened, because I wanted to sh I want to show y'all how different of a person I was. Pooh, you were, you were young and stupid. No, I was. You knew. You were there. You, so you can see how much of a person I've changed back then. I was, like, so shy, intimidated as heck. Um, the D D DMCA apocalypse, for real. All crafting jobs are level 41 to 53. Isn't crafting fun? I've been leveling up my crafting jobs. I never really thought they were fun until the firmament happened. And then now I'm like, oh, this isn't bad. I need to do mine too. Sorry, I'm literally skipping everywhere. I'm pretty sure I've cleared raids on Party Finder with you back on Eden times. Yes, you did. Uh, you have changed a bit. Yeah. Been a... But that's normal. You, you change as a person as you get older, right? Not for the bad. At least I think. I'm just much more chill and relax and talkative and I've I've seen some stuff so I'm more smart in terms of understanding people's characters and trusting different people stuff like that you know but that's normal that's life we're always evolving we're like Pokemon <laughs> she's seen some things all right, let me continue on with the story. Okay, everyone here, good. It is the responsibility of the Thunder Yards hunters to fell any fiends found wandering the area. Where to me, an acquaintance, acquaintance of mine, Stryka, one of these hunters, Stryka. Love it. I'm the same as I was when I was born. I'm consistent orca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see something real quick. Oh. What, if, what happens if I do this? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, sorry. Let's keep going. Let's unlock more of the map. Ooh, electric potential. Very unique names. Oh, Defective Sentry G8. Let's avoid that guy. I haven't been paying attention if there's aether, aether, the aether currents near me. It's okay, I'll get them later. Heck! <laughs> what did you know? I think my drops progress came to a halt. There has been a little bit of bugs involved with the drops, so, but it should be okay. Unless, maybe not, I'm not really sure. <laughs> the coffee I was going to order from Adrenas isn't discount code valid. Are you talking about the new Palio one, Josh? Yeah, the box set, box sets don't, 
don't get discounted. It's only the individual tubs. It's sad. I didn't realize that until recently, and I was like, oh, that sucks. Shoot, I forgot how to say her name again already. Cock. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, what are you doing here and with so many friends? Apologies for the interruption, but I was hoping they might observe you at work. Hunting, you mean? That's fine, I guess. Oh, she has the thing on. Hold up, I assumed they were wearing special regulars like Queen's Fiend's crown. <gasps> Queen's Fiend's crown? Her crown is a regulator? Kafkiwa. Thank you. <laughs> Kafkiwa. Wait, her crown is a regulator. Ooh, but they weren't wearing anything at all. It's much too dangerous to be here without one. What if they're struck by lightning or attacked by beasts? I can assure you they are all quite capable of looking after themselves. If anything should go amiss, I will take full responsibility. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Danger aside, there isn't really much to see. Man, they, they should have met Xenos. <laughs> Kakiwa Kakiwa said you're a hunter, but wouldn't it be easier for those mechanical soldiers to guard this place? It would, if not for the fact they're weak to lightning, the Thunder Yard being what it is, they've been ordered to steer clear. This reminds me of the area in Final Fantasy X. What is it called? Where you can dodge lightning? You remember? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of it. Some good they are, eh? But these facilities are vital to the upkeeping of Alexandria's infrastructure, so it falls to hunters like me to deal with any fiends. Given the danger, we're well compensated for our work. It's a perfect profession for anyone looking to build up savings. Savings? The special selection of souls for hunters isn't terrible either. I still need more information about the souls. So they said the only souls that they're using to revive themselves if they die are people that die of natural causes, aka age. That's so, that's still so, like what is, but what does that mean though? Like they're already dead, but are they? It feels so wrong. I don't know, but again, maybe it's just cause I'm not used to the, I'm not used to their culture. They think it's fine. The Thunder Plains, yeah. The special selection of souls for hunters isn't terrible either. Special selection isn't a soul can be terrible? I brought this lot here to see this danger you speak of. It's, if it's not too much trouble to ask, are we gonna watch her die or something just to see it happen? Ah, of course, in which case it'd be a shame to waste my efforts on just an, any old beast. You all can handle your, yourselves in a fight, right? If you cause a ruckus slaying what critters you see nearby, there's a chance you'll draw out something worthy of a demonstration. I wonder if this also, is it the souls of like monsters as well? I wonder. I'm not sure I understand, but I suppose we should each slay what we can. What if you get a heart attack? Does it save you from the heart attack or does that is that considered a natural cause? Or is it literally old age? So people are immortal, they die from old age and then come back to life. What? No, 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 no. So basically, I think I think I'm understanding this. So basically, cuz they threw so much at me. Basically, when somebody dies, their memories get put on the cloud, but their soul, their soul, their soul is sent to somebody else where they can use it as like a one-up. Think like Mario in case you die, you get a one-up. But they're already dead because they died of old age, but it's their soul. But I wonder if it, is it just of old age? But what if it's like, I don't know, like what if they, what if it's their liver or something? You can't constantly give somebody a one-up if it's their liver, right? They just need a new liver. 
But they did say if it's like accidents, if they die from accidents, then they get revived. People don't die of old age, they just become more vulnerable to health conditions. Well, I guess, true, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about in this, in terms of this game, Specky. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. That's how I understood it when I didn't miss you. Dang, I clearly missed a lot. Oh no, Lulu, yeah, there's the, oh my god, I need to do a recap for you. Nah, they dropped, they, they, so much has happened. <laughs> Literally, it was such a shock. I was like, what's going on? Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I explained the main thing. The little things that they wear, they're called regulators, and that's what we're talking about. They basically, when somebody dies, the memory of them gets saved on the iCloud, or I, excuse me, cloud, it's called cloud. It gets saved on the cloud, and everybody forgets who that person is because the creators of Alexandria, which is this new, uh, how do you, I don't know, what do you say? New world of reflection? It's called Alexandria. Anyways, the people that created the system, they basically thought it a kindness to make everybody forget that person died, but their memories are still on the cloud. And y'all think I'm joking, they literally said cloud. So it is cloud. But not iCloud, just cloud. <laughs> and basically, the other thing, so that's one thing it does. It saves memories. So in case you die, it basically, <laughs> it basically adds your memories back if you die. And how you get revived is off the souls of old people. So, yeah. Mm. It's still messed up. Um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to understand it, Lulu, but that's TLDR, I think that's basically what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dang is right! It's a, it's a big thing. Um, but you, but the people of Alexandria, they're, they're not forced, they don't have to wear the regulators if they don't want to. And we also learned that, now this is where you were gone, Zeralja is the king of these people but there's also a queen and she's like a separate person from him and she wasn't the reason she wasn't the cause of the war that's happening in Tural um in Tural or or to the trolley people um it's totally old, but however she still is partly to, br to blame. I don't know. That I'm still trying to understand the whole king and queen business. But there's that. And then also, I don't know if you were here for when the dome happened. But basically, when we were doing like the, the let's go to see Aaron Bell's mom. Um, basically, this phenomenon happened where there was a huge dome. And the people that were in that city, we are now realizing that they're 30 years older. So somehow, some way, hasn't been explained, but somehow, some way, this dome is, uh, did some kind of weird time thing. And now the people that were in the city, to us, it was only a couple days that we last saw them. It, sh it kind of showed that old grandma, the nanny of Wolf Lamat. But basically, we saw her a couple of days, and she was younger. But now, now that ever since we came inside here, we realize all those people are 30 years older. Wizardry. I know. Wow. See, I'm telling you, though, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot to unpack. And it's okay. That's what this game does, though. <laughs> It makes you be like, what? <laughs> what happened? But yeah. Thanks for the recap. You're welcome. I could have probably done that better, but what is, the, what is that? Ah! Be careful. You're gonna die and use the soul of Watika. <laughs> I'm assuming it would be Watika. This one will do nicely. Was this written by Nomura? <laughs> no. 
Yoshi, who is all the story writers? Oh shoot, I didn't read that. It's fine, really, I faced worse, just watch. Just watch, okay. Oh shoot. I uh, don't, it don't look, it looks to me, I'll let us help. Oh, oh no, look out. We just watched her die. Oh my god, I told you guys. We're literally gonna watch her die just to... Oh my god, she just used the soul of Watika, didn't she? 12 preserve. <laughs> oh no. She needs healing. Girl, no she doesn't. She's using the life of an old person. Oh my god. We're watching it happen. This is so wrong. She should have died, but she didn't. These people are too... They... How do they... How do they respect human life then? If they can just be like, oh, I'll just... I'll just revive. Right? It's okay. I always complain that none of these people can be revived by me, a healer. So what? why should I... <laughs> now I'm like, finally, they actually revive in the story. Uh, it's awkward. Okay, anyways, that was embarrassing. The guy cut me off guard. That was embarrassing. I only just died. Are you mad? Seriously, let us help. I told you not to worry. This will only take a moment. But it feels like that's such a waste. That's such a waste of a soul. So somebody's grandma just died to revive her? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Watika's vengeance. I'm just kidding. Um, whoa, what the heck? What? See, this is what happened to, 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 uh, the first promise. He also still can't. <laughs> He got, he went ham. Unfortunately on Galool. Whoa. Look at her eyes. Wait, that's kind of cool though. Not gonna lie. But also, oh my god. My emotions are going all over the place right now. Just like Zeralja, exactly. Should I not call him the first promise anymore? He's a butthole. He's the last promise. He's a broken promise. <laughs> Yeah. He's a broken promise. I'm gonna call him that from now on. Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> but that was so pointless. She just used the soul of somebody for being careless. I have a problem with that. Like, what if some younger kid is like, haha, I'm gonna jump off this cliff. And uh, if I die, then, oh well, I'll just be revived. Ha <laughs> ha, wee! You know, like, it's kind of, hmm. That's also a function of the regulator. No one's super saiyan. I suppose so. But yeah, anyways, I'm assuming somebody's grandma just died, not died, they were already dead. I don't know. I really don't understand it, Lulu. <laughs> yeah, I really don't understand it. Like, do they have to be on the verge of death and then their soul is taken when somebody dies? Because that's why they went to this medical facility, remember? They said that they were going to transport her to the medical facility. <laughs> the broken promise is good. Grandma was OP. <laughs> Their concept of death would get warped if every time someone dies, it's wiped from memory. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what's happened. Does it take the oldest person to like someone who's probably gonna die in a few hours? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't. I don't know yet. Or is it there are they already died, but their store gets like put in reserve? Maybe that's it. And then that's how they're able to give so many different souls to people. I'm assuming that's the case, but they haven't explained it in detail yet, which I'm sure they will. 
I need to watch the bot. It's a lot, Lulu. Do they have a room full of dying people kept alive artificially? Oh my god, that would be so bad. I hope not. Oh god, I hope not. I can see them doing that, though. I think I understand now how Zeralja was able to return from the dead and defeat Papa. And I'm not sure what we saw at the end there. As soon as the regulator turned red, it was as if you were possessed. Your movements became beast-like. Don't tell me you empowered yourself with the soul of a beast? I'm reminded of the serpentine soldier we encountered at Vanguard who did the same. So they do use monster souls, I think. So you've crossed paths with one of the king's elite? Such a form can only be achieved from gorging yourself on souls? <laughs> Grandma? Grandma? <laughs> Such a form can only be achieved from gorging yourself? <sighs> Dibs on Sephiroth's soul. <laughs> what? We could do the same in theory, but it's incredibly dangerous. Besides, it's not as if they'd allow hunters to carry that many souls to begin with. I should be getting back to work. Take care. They don't allow carrying too many souls. What? Gorging? It sounded like eating. And there you have it. Regulators can be loaded with two kinds of souls. Those of people and those of beasts. Okay. Is it so bad of me not to be upset about the beast one? I feel like it's the people that affects me, but I mean, I'm assuming it's it's the beasts that are the dangerous ones, not the in maybe the innocent one. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wonder if this will be the basis of Beastmaster in some way. Ooh. I don't know. The souls of people can be used to grant the user perpet per per preter natural strength. I've never seen that word. Uh, the souls of people can be used to grant the user preternatural strength. <laughs> I can't read. Naturally, they can also be used to ensure no one suffers an untimely death. And what about the souls of beasts? Yeah, hold on, what is this? They work much in the same fashion, imbuing you the strength of the chosen animal. Chosen animal, so you have to choose. That guy was a snake. What animal would y'all choose? What would I want? I don't know. Supernatural, but fancy. Hi Justin, thank you. If, for example, you use the soul of a wolf, you would grow more agile and feral, as you saw with Stryka. Using several of the same type at once, however, would result in physical changes. Your teeth might become fangs, your nails, claws, too many, and you'll become more beast than man. <gasps> That's what we saw. That's what they mean by engorging on souls. He became like a snake. Changing one's form through the souls of other beings, it becomes more and more reminiscent of void sin. Yes. Yes. Yet, unlike the void, where the cycle of death and rebirth is simply broken, souls here are forcefully taken before they might reach the ethereal sea different means to achieve similar ends. Oh shoot, I totally forgot about the ethereal sea. <gasps> that means the souls aren't ever sent to the ethereal sea, right? <laughs> so grandma was a wolf. No, I think he just had grandma and a wolf soul, I guess. Oh my god, my brain. I forgot the basis of a void scent. Can somebody explain that to me again? What? A, how was a void scent created? I forgot. And they couldn't die. Right? Oh, sorry. This is a 
lot. <laughs> and when they refer back to stuff, I'm like, stop it. A cycle to which all within the dome are bound. The dome. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Tell me about it, Alice. It is indeed hard to accept being so far removed from our own beliefs. Perhaps more shocking is that the technology to achieve all this was developed hundreds of years ago. Right? The civilizations and the reflections are surprising indeed. It's like this reflection is so much more advanced than ours, like, so far. Huh. This is getting, this is, well, it's not getting good. It's already been good, but this is, ooh, ooh. I like this part of the story. While we all have our thoughts on souls, for now the important thing is we know what power Zorolja has at his disposal. Is it one thing to separate corporeal ether from incorporeal ether, but to strip memories from the soul entirely is unprecedented technology? This is this is no longer any Tuliol's concern. With the, with his newfound powers, Ralja has become a real threat to the entire world. Indeed, he has to be stopped, no matter the cost. Gone and forgotten. Hey. <sighs> wow. The worth of a soul. Zero has been... Oh, wait. I forgot about the codex. Wait, how do I see that again? Wait, how do I see the codex again? Where is it under? Did I pass it? Collection? Wait, where? What? Collection? Collection? Collect. Col where's collection? Collection. Where's collection? <laughs> what? Where is it? Oh, under duty. There it is. They added zero. Where'd they? Oh, there you go. Oh man, this would probably be good for me to reread. Oh my god, they have one about souls. I kind of want to read this. Y'all mind? Within all beings, whether it be man, animal, or even plant, does ether flow. It is the spark which grants life to the lifeless. Conversely, death can be said to occur once ether has left a corporeal object. From this, it is clear to see why many scholars use the words life and ether interchangeably. The ether of the living can be broadly divided into corporeal ether, one's vigor or life force, and incorporeal ether, more colloquially known as one's soul. A person possessed of only the former becomes a zombie, which, while having only the latter, would render them a ghost. Oh. Cool. Etherologists <laughs> also assert that an individual's memory is inscribed upon their soul's ether. It is further theorized that memories associated with stronger emotions, such as regret, are more likely to persist after death which would perhaps explain why so many spirits fixate upon vengeance. Oh. Interesting. When a living creature perishes, its corporeal ether remains in the physical world where it is consumed by predators or absorbed back into the land to provide nourishment for other life forms. Incorporeal ether, however, is returned to the ethereal sea in that otherworldly plane 
is a soul washed clean of its memories, there to await rebirth as a new entity. Huh. Huh. So they're just, instead of... Huh. So in our, I guess, would you call it like our character's religion? The ethereal sea? But it's a real place, right? We've been there, right? <laughs> we've been there, right? I think we've been there. Um, yeah, we've been there. I forgot exactly when, but yes. And so they're waiting to be reborn. So our thing is we want those souls to be, to stay in the ethereal sea, to be given to a new life. However, their culture, instead of going, the soul going to the ethereal sea, it keeps the people living alive instead of creating a new person. Am I understanding this all correctly? I think so. Embracing oblivion. Oh, I like that. I trust you gained an insight into the use of souls in Alexandria. It's shocking, I know. I was overwhelmed myself at first. I expect you'll need some time to digest it all, but for now, let's head back to the earth and sky. I really do. I need time to process this. Everything that happens in Final Fantasy XIV, it doesn't hit me until a couple days later, but that's like everything in my life. <laughs> I can't, I have, I have to, I think it's called something specific. Uh, like, there's actually a word for it. A word for needing time to process. I feel like that's just a normal human experience, but it's probably, it's also called something else. I can't remember. But needing a couple days to process your emotions of something that's happened to you because it takes you longer to actually have a reaction. That's me. <laughs> You're understanding more than I ever did? Wait, really, Poop? More or less, they know they keep the souls from going through the natural order. Yeah, it's like they put, like, a wall up. Like, you can't go there yet. And they just, like, bounces back to another human <laughs> that's already in the world, I guess. It's kind of a bad way. It's Pong! Pong. No, not really. <laughs> At this rate... There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Let's take a moment before we head into the tunnel. Ugh. My brain hurts. I'm getting tired, chat. <laughs> I need more coffee. This was a lot. This was a lot. This was a lot. In the best way. I just really want to make sure I'm understanding so then other people, I can have like full on conver, not educational conversations, but I know exactly what's happening so I can talk to people about what happened correctly. Yeah. And I hate being confused about something if I just didn't understand it correctly. The failed rejoining on the 13th, turning it into the void, led to the ether being overactive, essentially restless, and not allowing souls to pass onto the ethereal sea. Oh. But yeah, that was the 13th. Yeah. Need supermarket simulator time. Scan, scan, scan. This is how much it costs. Give me your money. Here's your return, thank you. Oh my god, that's funny. I'm new to the game. What level is considered in-game? 100! 100 is the max level right now. It goes up 10 levels every expansion, so we're at 100. Yeah, I want to see. A Realm Reborn was 1 through 50, which is probably the biggest, right? Because it's the base game. Heaven Sword was 50 to 60, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot. Stormblood was 60 to 70. Shadowbringers is 70 to 80. Endwalker is 80 to 90. And this one is 90 to 100. There we go. 
more information than you probably needed, but there you go. At least it's not Urian J explaining all this. Then we'd have to translate first. <laughs> That's true. This was a very good way to teach me in like normal English. <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry for delaying us, but I have some thoughts I need to share. Yes, share me your thoughts. In both technology and values, it's plain there's a wide gulf between Tuliolo and Alexandria. And while Zoralja knows everything about us, we know hardly anything about what he's become. Indeed, we haven't even seen what lies within the enormous tower ever keep. Oh yeah, let's head there. Yeah. So here I'd like to make a proposal. That is, we work with Kavrian uh, and her people. We need to learn as much as we can about the enemy. The quickest way would be to join hands with Oblivion. We've only just met them, I know, and we shouldn't be too quick to trust, but the fact remains that they share our desire to stop Zeralja. Sveen, too, claims to be at odds with the King of Resolved. May I ask why you would cooperate with Oblivion instead? Wait, does the King and Queen have the titles of Resolve and Reason? Is she the Queen of Reason and he's the King of Resolve? Isn't that how Kona and Lamat did? I forgot the two heads. <laughs> I Abdul, Galul, Jaja, or the titles. But I think that's what it was, right? Anyways. It's simple, really. Their leader is Aaronville's mother. Meanwhile, whatever Sveen may feel, she's a ruler of this nation. There's a greater risk in working with her and less reason to take her at her word. A fair point. And knowing Zeralja, we, we must assume that his arrangement with Sveen was made not without some con consideration. Right. All I know is that it would be heartening to have allies in this strange realm. I think everyone would agree that any help we can get would be welcome. Hold on, there's no guarantee that it's actually my mother behind the machine. Without seeing her in the flesh, we can't rule out the possibility of a ploy. If it turns out to be a trap, we endanger not only ourselves, but everyone in Tuliolo. As you say, we have no proof that it really is. Um, but I, I make my proposal in full awareness of this. Whether we're going to war or striving for peace, we need to learn as much as we can. Otherwise, we can't hope to do anything meaningful. As it stands, we know too little about this realm. We need to remedy that. We need to study the enemy and when the time comes, strike down Zeralja for good and all. What's more, I trust you, Aaronville. Ernville. You've always had great instincts honed from your time training under your mother. What if I'm wrong? What if sentiment is clouding my judgment? If it's a trap, then we'll deal with it when it's sprung. Yeah. Ugh, that's always the way of it with you. I haven't changed. Fine, if you're all set on this, then I'll say no more. We just have to go find his mom, but she's in hiding right now. Then it's settled. Let's head inside and secure ourselves some new allies. <gasps> what if... Hold on. What if his mom... What if it's like Fallout? I, I, okay, I don't want to spoil too much if you've never played Fallout New Vegas, but those that have, what if, what if the mom is like, what's his name, Mr. House? Mr. House. In Fallout New Vegas. But maybe not. Um, I remember one of the big lore drops in Shadowbringers was from Urianje in the fairy area. <laughs> Oh boy. What if what if his mom is like that? I don't know how many of you were there at the ending of when I was playing Fallout New Vegas or have beaten Fallout New Vegas and know who house is. <sighs> I 
have so many more questions. I need you to constantly give me the pronunciation for the mom's name, Rhea. Thank you. <laughs> Kafkiwa. There. Kafkiwa. Oh, I got it. Kafkiwa, there's something I need to tell you and your people. We came here for no other reason than to strike down Zeralja. <laughs> Her face. But I thought he was your brother. Do you really mean to kill your own kin? Don't give me that judgmental look, Mr. Geode. I'm gonna go to Clint and break you. Since I followed the other day, I've been seeing more of you on my for you. Wait, really? Aw, thanks, Bill. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I've been trying really hard on releasing as many cool, unique videos as possible. I appreciate that. My kin invaded our nation and murdered our people. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to bring him to account. I am prepared to do what I must, and I won't hesitate when the time comes. What's that judgmental stare, man? Like us, you and yours oppose Zeralja. In light of this, I propose that we work together to stop him once and for all. What if he's a spy? He seems like a spy. You're a spy. He's a spy. He doesn't have pink hair. He's a spy. <laughs> I realize that this is sudden, that it's a gamble to trust someone you've only just met. But I would trust in the conviction of anyone who shares my goal, so fight with me, I beg you. Begging. Turn it up. As you say, our goals align, and I don't doubt your resolve in the least. If you hadn't proposed working together, I would have done so instead. Truth be told, it's been tough going at it alone. While you've got, while we've gathered ample intelligence, we don't have the strength to take to take decisive action. Besides, how could we not trust you? My only son is with you. My fussy little bun bun. He's all the reason I need. <laughs> My fussy little bun bun. So cute. And it's decided. Here's to a fruitful collaboration. Thank you, Kaf Kiv one. We wa. Yeah, and you, everyone together will achieve great things. I'm sure of it. Then let's not waste any time. We've been wondering about Zeralja's whereabouts. Is there a palace inside that tower? After a fashion, the king resides on the uppermost level, but while Queen Sveen has a penchant for going out in public, he seldom shows himself. <clears throat> What's more, his movements are highly classified. Not even his commanders are privy to that information if anyone knows where he's at at any given time it would be only it would could only be the queen wait she's the only one that knows even if we don't know his whereabouts Zoralja will eventually march on Tuliolo again that's when we can go after him the drawback is we'd have to wait for the invasion to happen innocence could be put in harm's way there's also the possibility that he'll leave everything to his minions and not command the army in person. Oh god. I don't think we should allow that to be a thing. No, he'll take the field. Oh. What makes you so certain? My brother has always yearned to surpass our father. That's why he attacked Tuliolo. After waiting for 30 years, the first thing he wanted to do was demonstrate his newfound strength. But killing Papa didn't satisfy him, so now he's bent on proving himself stronger than me and Kona, who bested him in the right of secession. He challenged me to strike him down. He wants a duel to show everyone that he's superior to the Dawn Servant, and he won't let his minions deprive him of the pleasure. What happened to him to be like this? Oh, Bill from... T oh, hi, Bill! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> then why hasn't he appeared and given you your chance? Surely he's aware of our presence here. 
At that I can only guess. Perhaps he wants to dazzle us with his wondrous realm. But if he won't deign to appear, then he'll then we'll force him to do so. Even as we gather intelligence, we make no move to attack him. Show absolutely no interest in a confrontation. Knowing him, he'll tire of waiting and turn his attention to Kona instead. He'll attack Tuliolo again, like he said he would. I see. If you believe this is the best approach, then we have no objections. Any campaign against Tuliolo requires that Zeralja lead his forces through Vanguard. We'll have lookouts keep an eye on it day and night. Such a strategy is certainly viable. If we're proceeding with it though, we should warn those outside. This is the other thing I wanted to bring up. So you know how the people here age 30 years? But for us, it was only a couple days. What if we're literally to leave outside the dome right now and it's like only been a couple of minutes? How crazy would that be? Indeed, they'll need time to prepare their defenses. Because we, we need to talk to Yastola about all of this. And then whoever else is outside. I think Astinian's out there. I can't remember everybody, but yeah. I should be glad to coordinate our efforts. I'm already in regular contact with Yastola. And we'll make sure to keep our comrades apprised of developments. Oh, so wait, maybe not? <laughs> it's interstellar all over again. But maybe it's not. I don't really understand. Anyways, you can leave Vanguard us. We'll send word at the first sign of movement. Okay. It seems we have a plan. While we wait for Zeralja to move, you do well to prepare for battle. And it begins with familiarizing yourselves with the technology that empowers him. To that end, I'll show you to Oblivion's main headquarters. Oh, I thought this place was it. Uh, you'll be impressed to know that we're located right inside that tower in the residential district of Solution 9. That's the rebel base? Hiding a tree in the forest, as it were. Interesting. The only question is how to get you through the checkpoint. Ah, about that. Sphine said that she'd make it so we could enter without issue. She did? Curious. She's not supposed to have such authority over the centuries. Oh, what's that about? If I recall correctly, her words were that she would register as guests. Oh, maybe that's why. I see. Perhaps we're in the clear then. Uh, that's odd. Anyways, when you're ready, come and meet me at the tower entrance. Oh boy. Isn't this the best hack? Freaking love the lo-fi. Before you head out, give us a moment to introduce ourselves properly, eh? Okay. After all, names are good to know when working together. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. So we got Geode and Pink One Pink Girl One and Pink Girl Two. Oh my god, her name is Nostalgia? Oh. Way act. We, Wayakwi and Nostalgia. Whoa, that's a cool name to have. What's your name, Nostalgia? <laughs> I gotta find a 10, hour, 10 hour version. No, that's what I was saying, Hack. I was like, I wanna like listen to it while I'm working or doing stuff. It'd be so chill. While Oblivion has operatives all over, we're the main crew here. I'm Geo, the leader of this hideout, and the dependable young twins behind me are Nostalgia and Wei Akwi. Oh, they're twins. I'm Nostalgia, it's a pleasure to meet you. My sister and I were born and raised inside the barrier. We've been with Oblivion for three years, and our main duties are surveillance and provisioning. Twins, eh? That explains the resemblance. Wei Akwi is a Tonawautan name, unless I'm mistaken. <laughs> That's right, our mother is Tuliolan and our father is Alexandrian. They wanted to honor both cultures. Oh, they're beautiful names. Thank you, though I have no memories of my mother. I like to think I carry a part of her with me. Aww. 
So what made you decide to join Oblivion? We wanted to avenge our father? What? Ambrose was his name. Oh, I love that. And years ago, he was taken away after a scuffle with a soldier over a disagreement. It was a minor incident, so at first we clung to the hope that he'd be released. But when months went by with no word from him, or from or about him, we made the decision to remove our re regulators. Oh, so that they can remember in case he died? Oh, shoot. I'm assuming that's what they mean. Hi, Upskill. What are my plans after MSQ? For, what do you mean? Like for streaming or just in Final Fantasy XIV? We had already lost the memories of our mother. We didn't want to lose that of our father as well. Okay, so yeah. <gasps> oh my god. They've all forgotten about him now, everyone who had known him. Oh my god, so he did die. Over a little scuffle? That poop head. Even here, he thinks nothing of his own people. Sometime later, we were approached by a member of Oblivion, hoping to get justice for our father. We joined the order. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood. <laughs> it is pretty dark, but... No, no, I appreciate you sharing this. Together we'll avenge your father. Thank you. Something tells me you have what it takes. <laughs> you introduce yourself too. Go on. Um, it's pretty much the same story for me. And while mine is a Tono Watan name, I haven't the faintest how things are outside the barrier. It's my dream to go and see it with my own eyes, our mother's homeland. Once peace is restored, you must come and visit. The wilds are beautiful, the food delicious, and everyone's so nice. You'll love it. Cute. Oh, in Final Fantasy XIV, what are my plans? <laughs> hmm. I don't think I'm sure yet. I'm not sure yet. And that's us here. You'll meet others in the back room. That's our headquarters. Some of them are a little eccentric, but they have good hearts all. Ah, Aaron Bell, one last thing. It isn't exactly my place to say this, but thank you for seeking out Cuff QA. What? She talks about you so much. It's clear how important you are to her. I can't ever get her name, man. It just com I think it's the C's. It's the C's that confused me. <laughs> it shouldn't. D Gen Raider Kylie. I don't I I don't know if I could see me going back to raiding. Um I will say never say never though, but raiding was really fun, but I'd have to find um thanks for you. I would have to find a group again and finding a group is probably the most stressful thing um about raiding <laughs> i feel like raiding itself isn't as stressful as finding a group thanks orca oh three more levels to go i see well i'm doing level 97 msq i'm already level 100 but yeah that's all be good to your mother while she, you can you still can eh eh well well let you we'll let you go well, we'll let you go now. Feel free to use this hideout as you like. Cake! Kafkiwa. 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 What are y'all's plans after you beat or are going to beat MSQ? <gasps> what is this? Meanwhile and Everkeep. <gasps> this is the tower we're heading to. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, is there, are these the servers? Is this where all memories are stored? Or is this all where the souls are stored? <gasps> What's going on with the queen? Who is that? Oh, it's Zeralja. He looked weird far away. He's so tall. You've been Holy consorting God. with Wook Lamott. Is she a spy? <gasps> Hold on. Oh, 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 I guess she got caught. Wait, what's going on? No matter. I do not know what you're scheming. Scheming? But when your realm lay on the brink, 
You were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whoa! This is also information we don't know much about. What do they mean? Your realm lay on the brink? So that's why he became king? We need to know more! Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require, is it not? Do they still need the power now? Perhaps. And yet, knowing the love that Wuglamart bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge. Were we to work together, we might find another path. Path? Path for what? For... For the reason why he has to be I in control? I you're loath to consider it, but... Is there no hope for peace with Tuliolo? What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. I love, see how she's saying we've already done? She took, there's a bird on my window seal. Sorry, it distracted me. Um, uh, I thought she said she wasn't really involved in it, but I guess she said that it's still like the technology of the, in Alexandria. Um, what we've already done may be unforgivable. She's right, though. Look, she's trying to call for peace. I slew my only flesh and blood. Yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. Yeah? The memory of my father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved nothing. I sought to prove the miracle? Prove what miracle? Prove what miracle? To kill them is my only recourse. Wuklamat and Kona, who bested him, as he was in his prime. Oh, does he mean the... Oh, do you... Okay, so he mean... The Gulul Jaja was the miracle because... Yes, because he's a two-headed Mamulja. Yes. And here, he's saying he bested... So Lama and Kona bested his shadow. Yeah, the shade trial. And that's why he's pissed off. Right. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. Watch out. He don't I work. am bound to no one. Serve none, save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. Wait, it was her voice. Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. Uh, Galul Jaja having a kid was also a miracle? Oh, was it also I mean, I believe you, but yeah, I know, right, Lulu? He's right here too. My cats aren't in here. So. Uh, oh, Queen of Reason! I was right. Wait, did she already? Maybe she already said that she was the Queen of Reason, and he's the King of Resolve. So it literally is like Tuliolo with Kona. Oh my God! Queen of Reason. Did she introduce herself as Queen of Reason? Maybe she did, I just didn't pay attention. Hmm. 
Maybe, oh, when she first introduced her to the party. Okay, maybe that's why I didn't pay attention. I just saw the queen part. <laughs> if your father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. <laughs> that is something you remember. What well, now? Oh man, I think she was really just hoping to convince him to be peaceful. Oh, she tried. <gasps> Solution nine. <laughs> right, Kaku. Kafkiwa. Kafkiwa is waiting. Let's head to the tower. <laughs> Man, he's so butthurt that he didn't defeat his father when his sister did. And brother, technically. But come on. It's toxic. Toxic way of thinking. Where do I go? I am gonna fast travel because I'm lazy. I got a letter. He's letting his ego get the best of him. I gotta be number one. Way back at the gate, he asked for the power to take the world, but he never. But we never learn what the voice on the other side wanted in exchange. It's true, and I guess it was to save her people. And they're they're being so cryptic though, like just now, because we don't know why, we don't know why that it had to result, like why this had to happen, basically. I'm so curious, but that makes her so sus. It makes her so suspicious. Like, what happened? Was it the cataclysm? No, right? Hmm. Something's happening. Oh. Ah, oh, there you are. If Queen's Fiend has registered you as guest, you should be able to march right in. Oh my god, are we heading to Solution 9 right now? And if she hasn't then you may have a swarm of Zoralja's minions to deal with. Great. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, what does it mean to save her people? Yeah, because technically her people are already being saved by the lives of other old people. Um. <laughs> uh, nothing for it but to see if Sveen has betrayed us, eh? Thank you for your diligent service, friends. My companions, I would like to pass if you'd be so kind. Outrunner guide unit identified. Registration number verified. Six accompanying civilians identified. Verifying credentials. Credentials verified. Welcome, guests of Queen's Fiend. It worked. She didn't betray us, at least with this part. What a relief. There you have it. It seems the Queen was true to her word. Follow me, everyone. Solution 9 awaits. I've walked two areas. Oh, wait. Unless Solution 9 is the same map. Actually, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look. <laughs> Yay! Wow, I'm finally gonna be in Solution 9. Oh my god, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh my god! Whoa. Whoa, look at the advertisements. Whoa! Cyberpunk. 
So, Cyberpunk Ever City. Keep. A tower of electro piercing a perpetual shroud of storm clouds. Occupying the ninth level of this 12-tiered structure is a residential district called Solution 9. Oh my god. And so naming their home, what hopes did its founders harbor for it? And did it prove the answer they sought? This is so cool. Are those flying cars up there? Spectacular, isn't it? I could say that again. Oh my god, this music. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I love this! There are more districts throughout the tower, including industrial ones, but Solution 9 is the largest. Just being here makes my head spin. Right? I thought Solution 9 was going to be like equivalent to like New York. Because <laughs> you know how we were in uh, Shalona or she, whatever. So, oh my god, I'm forgetting the name. Anyways, the Texas area. Because I was like, oh, this is like new, like North America. But this is a whole nother reflection. All the NPCs are wearing Vanguard dungeon gear. I need it. I need a match. Perfectly natural reaction. Yeah, look at him. Whoa, look at the pants. And look at the wall of fell. He's coming. I love how Lala Fells walk. <laughs> a city of shimmering electro, replete with strange technologies that cater to every conceivable need. We never dreamed of the light back home in Tuliolo. I go and explain the situation to those in the back room. Why not take a moment to explore? I believe lived experiences are far more educational than dry explanations. And you want to know more about Sveen and Zeralgia's dominion, do you not? You had me at explore. <laughs> Of course I'd want to explore. Also, I just now remembered something from previous in the story. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be keen. Just to confirm, <gasps> while we have been allowed inside, oh are we also permitted to roam? Show ourselves around. Yes. Familiarizing ourselves with the technology here will help us prepare for the battles to come. Try not to enjoy yourselves too much, or you're liable to attract attention. I feel like I'm in a trance with this music because I love it so much. Once you've explored to your satisfaction, Come to the entrance to True View in the Eastern Sector. The way from there is a little complicated, so I'll send someone to guide you. Look at the palm trees. Understood. We'll see you later. This literally feels like the world in Interstellar. You know, the spaceship? But the, this reminds me of Cyber... I shall speak with the residents. Perhaps one of them will recognize the earring. 
that she can find her birth parent, like more information about birth parents. Oh shoot, yeah, her birth parents. Oh my God, I'm totally forgetting that. Her birth parents wanted to leave this area or wanted her babe, their And you remember the Yaqui? They got really sick and majority of their their kind got decimated. Remember? What's with this because, place? Is How it can they be inside here? of a tower? They said they they went to the Golden City, right? But none of this was written on their in on the stones. Or did we already get that answer? I don't think we did, did we? So, uh -uh. what aren't you telling me? Where had, are you? They had dreams of the city. Something made them sick and they died. Yeah, but we don't know what. But they only had dreams of this place. And remember, the Yaqui have like the same kind of like view of death, right? It's obviously different because they mark the memories in stone, whereas these people put it in the cloud. I sit in solution that nine on you. I can't here. reveal yet. Precautions, you understand. Just know that I'm safe. She can't reveal yet. It has to be. My idea, don't say anything, but my idea of her is that maybe her body still exists, but she's probably like tied to like a machine or something to keep her alive and it's just her memory speaking. That's my idea. Kind of like, as I said in like a certain game, I mentioned it earlier, but I'm not gonna say it again. Mukumat is so cute. Hi Alt, by the way. They had dreams of a golden city where people live eternally. And it's true, but it's not, well it is te technically. Holy cow though. But how did they get the dream? But come, tell me about your adventurer that? friend. You seem to have a great deal of faith in her. Is it because they spoke to people that were outside, that were by the gate? No way, right? I am enjoying MSQ! Spicy, it's so good! But like, my mind has been so like, just trying to comprehend it all. And I just got to solution nine. <laughs> um, so I need to focus on what they're saying. I'm like going in between. You must have been through a lot together. <laughs> That's for sure. We only saved the song. Might say that. For instance, we found the entrance to the Golden City. Explore together. Of course. It's not that I'm scared or anything. Everything is just so different from home, is all. My, my, my mind is 
going crazy. Obviously, I remember Iron Bell said, oh yeah, his mom told him that. And that was a cute reaction too, by the way. What the heck? Ah, my, <laughs> what? Why did the mom react that way though? I'm, what? Why? Why did the mom react that way? She should know that this brain go mush. I'm also, I think I'm also like, I'm tired because I've been streaming all day. So my mind's kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted right now with all the remembering everything. Do y'all get that way? I don't know, I get that way. With rich story based games and books and stuff. Look at the ethernet shard! What? Wait, look at it! What? Wait, it looks so cool. Ooh! Wow! This place is awesome! <laughs> I get you. <laughs> Goodness, y'all understand. To be fair, you're also trying to split your attention with two chats. True. Um, and just chat in general. Um, uh, uh, towers inside a tower. I see it, but I can't. I still can't believe it. She is right. There are towers inside the tower. Uh, hmm. For now, I say we proceed straight ahead. If we feel like we're getting lost, we can always turn around and go back the way we came. I love, I love this place. I love the music. I love the colors. I love the aesthetics and the buildings and how cyberpunky it feels. It makes me feel like I'm in like other games. You know what I mean? Like other games that I've played in the past. I I can't really pinpoint what it reminds me of. I, I mean, I played a little bit of Cyberpunk, but it doesn't make me think of that. It reminds me of like other games. I don't know that's weird to say, but I have so much nostalgia like at other games I've played and for some reason I'm getting that. <laughs> it's weird. Um, Angel Snacks. Or angel snacks. Angel snacks. Angel snacks. Wow. Oh my god, can we fly? Oh no, we can't fly here because it's a city. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait, can I get, I was gonna say, can I get my, my regalia out? <laughs> Can I join them? <laughs> no! Can I? Maybe I can later. Okay, let's, we need a, oh wait, we need a, a, a tune. <laughs> Oops. What are those things? Wow, it's so pretty. Everybody that makes Final Fantasy 14, Yoshi P and everybody's a genius. This is amazing. Rhea! Show me the umbrella again. I love it! See, I told you it reminds me of Queen Spleen... Spleen, oh my god, Queen... <laughs> Queen Spleen's um, outfit, doesn't it? So pretty. I'm gonna work on getting that. I'm obviously not there yet. I'm halfway. Right? <laughs> kind of. So, um, oh, I love it. Can can we have a dye? Can we have a dye that the, that's this color? So we can like dye our clothes. Can you imagine if this top is this iridescent dye? How cool would that be? That would be the freaking coolest thing ever. Oh wait, let me attune. Let me attune to this eighth. What the heck? Whoa. Oh. oh. Wait, can I fall? No, I can't fall. <laughs> wow. I feel like. 
like this music can just solve everybody's problem. Put this on when you're stressed out and all stress just goes away. At least it would for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> queen spleen literally just flowed out of my mouth. <clears throat> Ugh, a crossroads already. This place is too much. I have no idea where I should go. Like even for somebody that doesn't even like play Final Fantasy XIV, like this is just such a vibe no matter what. Like if this was just a lo-fi, like I would've been like, oh, this is the best. If I recall, Yoshi P said they want to increase how many items across the board are in the game, so I assume more outfits, minions, mounts, etc., and maybe some stuff like new dyes. That would be so good. Right, I've made up my mind. Let's head to that building there. Where? What building? That? Is this a building? Oh, there's something over here. <gasps> Do you think they have like districts, like a Chinatown or something? Like a city, you know? Green. Okay, see you later, Lulu. Appreciate you hanging out. This song will be played when World Peace is announced. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's the theme song. <laughs> Why did her, why did her voice scare me? <laughs> oh. Sphine. So y'all are saying this music is Final Fantasy IX. So every time we see her, Final Fantasy IX music happens. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy IX. I was IX worried music. you might How have cute. had trouble at the checkpoint. She has her but own. I see everything went according to plan. To be honest, I thought this music was the area music. <laughs> It's her theme song. Well, that's thanks to you. Now, I know you've scarcely arrived, but I have a request to make of you. I like her. She has pretty privilege going for her, but, but. Oh, a request, you say? Yes, an important one. I'll say it plain. I want you to make peace with Zeralja. That's a big ask. <laughs> what? That's a favor? I thought you said you weren't on his side. We have come no closer to seeing eye to eye, nor do I condone his methods. Be that as it may, I don't want you to fight him. I don't want you to regret a decision made in anger and haste. Unequipped with regulators as you are, the risk is too great. Or does the reason she don't doesn't want me to fight him is because he's the reason why Something is keeping I her appreciate alive. your concern, but you ask the impossible. Hmm. Zorolja murdered our father. His minions slaughtered our countrymen. He will never renounce his war. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to stop him. Hmm. I know you love your people too. And so you must understand how I feel. Why I cannot, will not, back down. I do understand. All too well. 
The story delving into concept of life and death is also very reminiscent of Nine. I feel like I'm gonna know Let Nine before I play Nine. This, then. Hey. Zoralja will use any means to win. If you would protect your people, return to them at once and prepare. Prepare as best you can. It may ring hollow coming from the queen of an enemy nation. But unlike me, you still have the power to determine your own fate. Can you divulge that, please? Like what? You really are a curious one. Look, you needn't worry for us. We have dependable comrades holding the fort in Tulichola. They'll keep everyone safe, so we can devote our attention to affairs here. Please. Never fear, I'll be there alongside her. So you have comrades on whom you can rely. I am for you. You know, we'd like to learn more about you. Mm. About me? To be frank, we're still not sure whether or not you're trustworthy. So, if you have a moment, would you show us around the district? Is that way, we can get to know you better. I guess this is Toliolo's theme. Mm. <laughs> You're asking me, the queen, to show you around? <laughs> a glorified <laughs> tour guide. Oh, but I jest. I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. Very well, I shall be your guide. You're my guests, after all, and teaching you about my realm would be a pleasure in and of itself. The Queen of Spleen. If you like, I can introduce Poor you guiding. to my citizens, too. <laughs> I consider them family, as you do yours. <laughs> By all means, we're in your capable hands. I love her little back that you mini are. wing. This will be an enjoyable thing. and enlightening tour. I promise. I love how her eyes match her little green loopies. At the, at the tips. You think I'd like Nying? Oh, I know I would like it. Everybody's told me to play it. There was actually what I didn't tell y'all this. This was a long time ago. Somebody wanted to pay me to start playing it. <laughs> And I was like, uh... <laughs> like, they were like, if I give you, like, I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't a lot. But they were like, will you start playing it? And I was like, that is a big, big request, my friend, because that game is pretty big. And I wasn't ready at the time because I was already, like, in the middle of the place. I think I was playing Xenoblade. I was in the middle of Xenoblade. Hi, Ty! Oh, yeah! Wait, is this... Oh, did you just now hear about the Zelda game? I know! And it's coming out in September. So that'll be fun. Final Fantasy IX is my favorite retro Final Fantasy, so I so I loved all the callbacks. Is it really your favorite? Have they done anything for Final Fantasy X? Because that's the only one I really know. Maybe they're holding out on that one. The Queen's Tour! I guess I'll go on the tour for now. Let's begin then, shall we? She, that's the, this is the second tour she's given us, right? And this is like the second main area that we've been to today. Like, that's nuts, that's a lot. I must say I'm really grateful. This place is so vast and, com and confusing. I didn't even know where to begin. Oh, I need to check out where this is on the map. While the district may seem daunting in size and structure, all the key facilities are situated near Lay, note, lay nodes, what you call aetherites. Remember this and you won't lose your way. Lay nodes? Interesting. Now, 
Now then, seeing as it seeing as it is right here, I will show you the Nexus Arcade first. Please follow me. Arcade? What? No, it's okay, Ty. You don't have to always know the news when it happens. Like, what? There's like so many games announced all the time, so it's okay. They're not gonna give her a sword, though. <laughs> Whoa, look at this area. <gasps> look at the car! Wait, look at the motorcycles! Wait, can you change your look here? Is there shopping? Are there shopping stores here? Oh my god. This complex is home to all manner of shops, from food and daily necessities to technological conveniences. Well, you can find almost everything here. He ever keeps interior is vast, as you have you as you've observed. This arcade makes it possible for people to acquire. Oh, this. Oh, oh, it's not an arcade. Arcade. <laughs> This arcade makes it possible for people to acquire what they need in one centralized location. There might be bits of Final Fantasy to reference like the Palu Palu, but uh, as far as I know, it's not been like a big inspo. True, Palu Palu people, true. Amazing. I guess they do like a mixture of all, of a lot of different ones. How do you get to the upper levels? I don't see stairs. Oh! Do you see the glowing pattern over yonder? This is an automatic conveyor? Cool. Such contraptions are found throughout Everkeep, allowing us to swiftly move between faraway places. This will spare us some walking. Are they also made from that strange metal? Electro, what's it? Yes, the conveyors are powered by electro. As a matter of fact, the ore is integrated integrated into just about everything in Everkeep, even the floors and walls. They keep talking about this ore. Maybe they're running out of the ore or something. There's gotta be something, something. By etching arcane circuits upon it, Electro can be used to convert lightning energy to those of other elements. Wait, what? Oh my god, hi Roy! Thank you so much for your Prime Beauty sub! Welcome! That was really nice of you to use your sub on my channel. Thank you! How are you doing? In so doing, you can achieve various effects. For instance, a conversion to wind produces flotation, which is required for the propulsion of our flying vehicles. A conversion of fire, meanwhile, produces light and heat and is employed in devices such as street lamps and heaters. There are even self-heating cups that keep your drink warm. What? <laughs> Those exist in our lifetime. Can you make a drink cold if you convert to ice instead? You certainly can. Our vending machines do just that. What's more, multiple energies can also be combined to produce some clever effects. For instance, by manipulating the air with wind while projecting light with lightning, it is possible to alter one's appearance. What? What? It's almost scary what you can do with Electro. If such a wondrous material existed in our world, I imagine everyone would be fighting over it. Are they talking about like Fantasia? Pots or something or where they originated? Panda, the even 51 months. Hi. That wouldn't be true though, right? We've had Fantasia before we even came here. How the heck do you change your appearance with wind and lightning? <laughs> do they mean like cutting your hair? I don't know, maybe not. How are you doing, Panda? Thank you so much for the resub. What's going on? Why is she doing that face? What? What's going on? Sus. Sus behavior. What are you doing? Why do you look sad? Don't you dare shake your head at me. What? This shop over here, what does it sell? Oh, yes. Let's go and take a look. Wait, did, did Welcome Man say something that I didn't read? I dare say you will find it interesting. Maybe I did read it. Why did she act like that? That was weird. Why? <laughs> what? Oh. Whoa, P 
people galore. Oh, is this like the main? Oh, this is the main crafting area. Look at this. <laughs> so this is the hub. Okay, that makes sense. If this is like, she called it the arcade. I literally thought she was talking about like an arcade game area. Oh, so this is the merchant, gemstones trader. Oh, here's a mender. mender. I need to repair my gear. Um, script collectible appraiser. Blenders, vendor, script exchange. Okay. So this is the hub. I still haven't gone over here though. But that. There's still one other area I don't think I've been to. Anyways. The shop sells food. Those are the items on the counter. Wait, this is food? What? That's food? I can't imagine what they taste like. I thought you might be surprised. Your countrymen were too in the beginning. Come, come, you must sample something. Choose one and I'll purchase it. Welcome, excuse me. Welcome, friend. How lucky you are for Her Majesty to treat you. The five items on display are our most popular. I recommend one of them if this is your first time. This look like this looks like grapes. Oh, you can't see it. What? But and this looks like a blood pack. <laughs> Kinda. Interesting packaging. Select an item that interests you. Wait, which one should I do? A slab of pink hexagons, liquid-filled pouch. Is this like a Capri Sun? Long rectangular bar, hexagon pattern bag, black and yellow tin. Wait, which one should I choose? Let's do the slab of pink hexagons because it looks like grapes. Look at it. The synthetic fruit pellets? They're our best approximation of the taste and texture of grape. It is grape, pixel grapes. <laughs> what is with this game and grapes, man? <laughs> I've never tried the real fruit, so I can't say how faithful they are, but there's no denying their popularity. Wait, no. I want to read all of them. Ah, the revivifying tonic? I take it you're thirsty. The flavor is a sublime blend of sweet and salty, and it stays fresh for over 10 years. Thanks to the special container. What? Okay. All right, next one, the bar. Keen on the perfect meal bar, are you? It's all the nutrients your body needs packed into a single food stuff. The flavor is formulated to never taste dull and one bar will satisfy you for a whole day. Many folks prefer this to, for, prefer this to taking multiple meals. It's like, it's like, uh, like spaceship food, you know? Like going to space kind of food. Hi, Blue! Ah, uh, yes, the salad paste. This is designed for those who are concerned about their figure. With its blend of nine varieties of vegetables, it'll help your efforts to slim down. Fashion models swear by it and youths can't get enough of the stuff either. I wonder what the law prints would think of this, <laughs> like this whole area. This here is cultivated steak. It's not quite the same as the real thing they produce in the outskirts, but it's a sight more affordable. Cultivated steak? This particular product is known as Gold Label, and it's a delicious hybrid of beef and chicken grown at the plant on the fourth level. Grown at the plant? A hybrid of beef and chicken? Huh. 
I want to do the grapes, but I got to read everything. <laughs> What's that? I'm doing the grapes. Let me have the grapes. Thank you. It's bacon, <laughs> beef and chicken, or chief chicken and beef. <laughs> While they're all very tempting, I'm going to have the steak. I'm absolutely starving. And you should have had the meal bar then. Thank you for your custom. This being Her Majesty's treat, it's bound to taste all the better. Say, would you mind sampling your selections here and now? It's been a long time since we had newcomers and I'd love to see your reactions. Oh my God, everybody wants to see our reaction. What the heck? That's weird. Uh, okay. This is a great chance to learn about Alexandrian culture. Let's dig in. Okay. Wait, this is kind of cute, though. <laughs> Mukbang! Alright, here I go! Oh, they're not gonna show it. Following Wuklamat's lead, you sample your selection. Oh. Amazing! I've never had any meat like this before. It's tender like chicken, but flavorsome like ron ronik. And the spices give it just the right amount of kick. I could eat this every day. I love their outfits, man. I think after this, I'm gonna go and try to go back to Vanguard and try to get all the outfits. Ha! Don't mind them. They're just happy to see your honest reaction. And how about you? Mmm, grape. It's pretty good. It's fantastic. Grapes are amazing. <laughs> Cute. They like that. <laughs> oh, Lulu's not here, Blue. Ha ha ha! It's always such a pleasure. My thanks for humoring me. This does take me back, though it was chaotic when the people of Tuliolo first arrived. We endeavored to learn about one another and embraced our differences. All right, what about you, Sveen? Haven't, aren't you having something to eat too? Oh. I appreciate the thought, but I'm fine for now. Thank you. All right, but what's your favorite food, if you don't mind me asking? My, my favorite food? Why do you wish to know this? Because I want to get to know you better. Why else? The more you know someone, the more you grow fond of them. That's what my old man believed, and my experiences have led me to believe the same. My favorite food... Spaghetti. <laughs> hmm. What's her favorite food, chat? Pop rocks. Candy. Is it such a difficult question? Does she even eat? Bacon. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just when I think of those who labor to bring us the food, I find I can't settle on one thing. Oh, okay. I thought I was, I was indecisive, but you are something else. Indecisive? Perhaps I am, but you didn't need to laugh about it. Aw. Wait, that's really cute. She doesn't. She just doesn't want to favor who? Who was that? Where were you? They were over here. Who's stalking me? Who? What baby mamulja was that? At least I think it was a baby mamulja. Oh, this music. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. Does it change depending on day and night, or is it always the same? Speaking of, does it look different at night? Air Wheeler Dealer? The same as Neon. Oh, that's the thing y'all were saying is 7.5 million. Oh, why is it so expensive? Wait. How, I can, do I just need gill? How do I buy it? Oh, it's just gill. Oh. I mean, I could buy it. I want the car! Is this for sale? Ooh, what's that? Are 
furniture pieces. Wow. It's gonna take forever for me to get that. Never say never. If you fake grind, you probably could get that. Do you make so much money fake grinding? Granted, it takes a long time, but it's still not bad. <laughs> oh no! The squirrel! It's the squirrel outfit! Is this this is from the boss fate, y'all said, right? <laughs> Fate grind, huh? What do you mean, huh? So you don't know what it is? Or do you mean like, excuse me, I'm not gonna fate grind. Oh, <gasps> the tank guard tenders we all were talking about. I need, oh. They're looking at each other. <laughs> I love when minions do this. Seven million from fate would take forever, no? It depends on how much the material sell for. Um, but I made like three million pretty fast. So I mean it depends, I guess, but it would take a while though. But yes, it's an option. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Squirrel is zone six fate boss. Zone six. Oh, okay. And Cabby but I can do Capybara though. I want to do that. All right, I need to go, unfortunately, guys. It's just four o'clock and I need a break. 